Hello everyone and welcome! It's time for another tabletop, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this is AC calling in again, doing this tabletopery. Uh, Sandy is with me. Yo. And uh, we have, as always, our DM for the Savage World of My Little Pony, uh, Roger Marsh, actually in studio across from me. We're, we're then touching range, but, you know, no touching. Yeah, uh, don't touch my hand, you'll make it dirty. <laughs> I, am the, I am the man formerly known as Roger Marsh. Mm-hmm. So uh, we are we are here again. We're doing another tabletop. Uh, Pixel was not able to join us this week, unfortunately. Yeah, very, uh, her she got she got corralled into some business involving uh, home real estate and oh, very unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but she's hauling heavy boxes right now. Yeah, how, well, understandable on that. So uh, yeah. we will obviously we are set uh, for those out there. If you are going to be attending BabsCon, we are set for me, Sandy. Uh, Pixel and most likely, I need to just confirm um, uh, uh, the, the the dusty cat uh, to play a game with Roger. They're live late at night. We're gonna have some of my cider that I'm gonna bring, so prepare yourselves. Uh, and we will do a tabletop game live there. Uh, you know, Roger's already th- promised to bring the theatrics. Oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna be so exhausted. <laughs> Just gonna have to be the magic man. I have to be. I'm gonna have to be on all night. <laughs> it's gonna. It's gonna be a beast. Uh, but yeah, uh, Roger. Just uh, one more time. Just tell everyone where they can find your game and everything. What's yeah. it about? What's is a, What is it about? <laughs> well, what is it about? Funny you should ask. Um, so the, the the game that we're gonna be playing is as always the Savage World of My Little Pony, an, and uh, it's a it's a module, which is like a, kind of a modification for the Savage Worlds uh, role playing game which is a, a game put up by Pinnacle Entertainment uh, Incorporated. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a role-playing game that's supposed to be uh, influenced and conducive towards uh, kind of very pulpy action stories and you know, adventures. Uh, the other, there's a, Savage Worlds, you can buy just the core rules, and it's a, it's a very generalized system. It's very, it, it's, got a lot of, it's very fun. It's very simple to pick up. It's really, really easy to, to be able to play. It's a great thing for new GMs, but it's also got some uh, interesting uh, little quirks about it, and it's very robust so for more advanced players. Um, there's lots of different settings for it. My, my personal favorite, aside from My Little Pony, that I made is the Solomon Kane RPG, which is if you, if you ever want to play just, like, badass, righteous, ass-kicking 17th century uh, uh, action, that's the different game for that. But there's many other settings, and uh, it's a you know, great game, cool company. They're great to support because the game industry is dominated by a couple monolithic big game companies. Always good to su- support uh, the, the small companies that don't have the clout and the uh, and the fact that they're owned by Hasbro, like D and D. Hasbro, gross. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's, that's we, the- we say as we play a game about horses owned by Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> So the, uh, <laughs> but uh, the, but the basics of it was I uh, I created this module for it. Um, if you're interested in playing or if you're running, um, I'll, I'll, I'll I guess I'll, I'll plug the forums and my deviant art here in a second. But you do need the core rules of the game to play. You can buy it online uh, at Pinnacle's website or a place like Drive Through RPG. Uh, it's very inexpensive. You can get the main rule book for like ten fifteen bucks as a PDF. I have I like my physical copy, so I have one. Totally worth it. Goes to good people, um, but you say just for for reference, you do need the core rules to play this game. And then all you need else you need to do is download the the PDF book that I have on my Deviant Art, and it's everything you need to play. So, um, and just real quick, my Deviant Art is Giftkrieg twenty three. This is G I F T K R I E G twenty three at Deviant Art. Um, it's right there. It's like the first thing in the top left. You can download the rules. I have some. Ex- I have some playtest materials for people who want to try a much improved magic system and some stuff for Pegasi. Um, it's all available for the download. I have a printable version that's all in black and white, or it's, uh, it's it doesn't have any page backgrounds, so it's, you can print it without killing your printer. And there uh, also, if you just need to find it, you could easily just Google "Savage World of MLP." You yeah. know, it's the first listing that comes up. So I'll, yeah, I'll be up there somewhere. So. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about it later, but I do have I do run like a small a little set of forums. And it's just for coordinating pe- players. If you're interested, there's usually a weekly game that's like anyone can play. It's one shot adventure. So if people are interested in that kind of thing, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah, we usually get someone like once every other month going like, "What's that site again?" 
So they're totally <sighs> interested. Yeah, Red, Red don't care. Fred don't care. No, he's not blocking anything. Nope. You just see his cat butt. He's just being a cat. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, let's go ahead. This is going to be BVP number eight. What's the name, dear sir? The name for the adventure this week is Very Honorable. Oh, boy. All right. Tell me when you need that audio file played, yes. sir. Uh, I've got a little music interlude. Uh, we, should, we should link it in the chat, too. Oh, actually, no, you got it set up right there. That's perfect. So uh, it'll... It'll become like AC. Uh, don't spoil it because it's, it's uh, it'll be. It's, I want it to be a nice reveal. So <clears throat> this, is, this is game number eight, and uh, and just as real quick, I usually start with a short little opening narration. This just kind of sets the scene. This is like a thing I do. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> it is a cool, blustery day, uh, <coughs> blustery morning in Ponyville. The unseasonably warm autumn has given uh, way to an unseasonably warm winter. And with heartwarming eve long past and the holidays few and far between, the ponies of Equestria return to the humdrum of their daily lives while contemplating on how much winter has overstayed its welcome. Chef Sandy, bundled up against the cold in an oversized scarf and boots, trudges along the muddy road that runs parallel to the edge of the Everfree Forest with a pack full of freshly picked ingredients for, the, for his week's specialties. After the uh, <clears throat> incident at last year's Nightmare Night, Chef is happy to return, uh, for the return to Mundanity and Equine Entity and get his grounding in reality once more. The recent past has been punctuated with more than enough adventure, adventurous insanity for one pony, and he's vowed to make the new year one of health, happiness, and AC not breaking anything too expensive. The mud on the road <laughs> grows thicker as Chef rounds the bend, dodging the occasional stubborn cl uh, clump of dirty snow on his way into town. So as you're going along, Chef, ahead, you, sp uh, you see a pony pulling a cart, both of which look like they've seen better days. The weathered old pony strains and heaves, but to little avail, for it seems that both wheels have sunk deeply into the mud and do not look like they want to budge. He goes, oh, on over to you, Chef. Hmm? It's your, it's your go. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure if you had more to say. Oh, no, sorry, yeah, that's, I, uh, there's your... Oh, well, clearly the right thing to do is to help an old pony that's stuck in the mud. I mean... After all, a robust young stallion like myself is probably a good more bit of oomph in me than some old dude. <laughs> Watch out, heartthrob Sandy coming. Yeah. <laughs> Just sweep him off his feet. So are you... Uh, are, <laughs> I'm going to roll the flex. <laughs> <laughs> he, looks, he looks pretty pitiful. So you, you go up and give him, give him a push? Yes. Yeah, so you go up and probably do what the, what show, the horses in this show seem to do, which is like nudge stuff with their foreheads. And you get yes. It like, doesn't take much effort, really. Like, it looks Earth like, pony strong. <laughs> it doesn't take a whole lot of effort, but you give a, you give his cart a push and it rolls on out of the little ruts it was in, and uh, he, he looks kind of surprised back. At you, oh, thank you. I didn't think I'd see any pony to help me for a while. He goes, and he goes oh, thank you so much for helping me. Oh, you're, you're welcome. I just figured you could use a hoof. Oh, indeed. Please, sir, would you give me your name? I'm, uh, I'm Sandy. Sandy? Yes. Oh, he, he, he thinks for a second. I think I've seen your restaurant in town. Ah, uh, that would be mine, yes. <laughs> he goes, in fact, I've got a saddlebag full of fresh stuff ready for this week's specials. He, uh, he, I... Suddenly the uh, the wind kicks up and you shudder involuntarily as he beams you a toothy grin, and uh, and with, without saying much more, just goes about on his way. Uh, he, as you watch, he turns sharply off the road, heedless of the bumpy terrain before disappearing into the Everfree Forest. You're left with a lingering sense of unease, which you can't seem which you, uh, which seems to stick with you for a few seconds. Hmm. He seems to go off road pretty easy for an old pony. Uh, I better get back though before AC burns down the restaurant. Oh god, it's all on fire! <laughs> so, <anyway>. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> oh god, let's not go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just like Sandy, let's stand outside for a while. Don't worry about the smoke. Yeah, just the northern lights. <laughs> <laughs> so do, I, do I need to call them the, the Northern Lights sure are great at night, aren't they? In, in the daytime. <laughs> coming out of the store. Yeah, what was that pick that's that Simpsons? He's like, the Aurora Borealis, in this at this time of day, in this part of the country, 
In the middle of the day, or in the middle of the day, localized entirely within your kitchen. <laughs> yes. Can Inconceivable. I, can, can I see it? No. <laughs> so, on your way, uh, so this is heading back to town. As you arrive back in Ponyville, your breath grows ragged, and you begin to feel oddly dizzy and fatigued. You've walked this route a hundred times before, and it's no more than a pleasant stroll down to the meadows north of town, it's where you usually pick various roots and tubers. So why does it feel like you've developed a flu in between now and the walk back? Uh, man, I might have, you know, the problem with being an earth pony, you got to pick things with your teeth. Maybe I, I kind of got some plant I shouldn't have in the forest. Ugh. Yeah, so it's, it's like it's, you just you just a headache and dizzy and fatigued, and it hits you pretty quick. That's why it's, it's like, oh, this is, you know, this is unpleasant. Since you have a lot to do today. Uh, walking down the main street, you pass a group of little uh, of little fillies shouting and headbutting a ball between them with a dog in tow. And you give an involuntary sh- uh, involuntary flinch as you recognize the troublesome cutie mark crusaders. As you pass them, their ball game comes to a rather abrupt halt as they stop to watch you pass, staring kind of awkwardly. It looks a bit mixed between curiosity and concern. Uh, hey, uh, Mr. Sandy, you uh, feeling okay? Uh, no, I'm not, little filly. I got a bit of a headache. The dog's ears go down. She begins to growl at you, backing off slightly. Uh, okay. Well, I, not. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I don't... <laughs> Your dog doesn't seem to like me very much. It's just you look different today. Oh. The other two kind of looked at each other with, uh, with kind of concern, confusion. I should I should probably wander over if there a fountain nearby and take a look at my reflection. Oh, there's a, there's like a puddle of water, and you can kind of look. And yeah, you look like uh, the exposed skin is pale, and your eyes are kind of sunken. You look like crap. Oh man. Well, yeah. I think I need to go and maybe take a nap. I don't want to. Or, uh, Ponyville General. Don't don't want to have to worry about that. Well, well uh, good luck with that. And uh, the th- the three of them kind of wander off. The, as they go about their way, you can hear them whispering to themselves. Any of you get a weird feeling talking to them? Like something ain't right. <clears throat> little, and Winona is in the back, still kind of looking back and giving you an occasional growl. Turns out I'm the zombie pony. Uh, well, dang. The kids, I'm scaring the dog and making the kids uneasy. I must have gotten something pretty bad. <laughs> That's odd. So, uh, you come back in, uh, you come back in through the back door of the restaurant, seeing apple cider already picking, uh, the best ultra ginger from his stock of dried roots for brewing today. And as his big orange cat stands next to his food dish, staring up intently with the hope that his red master will notice and take pity on its emptiness. So it's it's I saying, it's currently about 9 a.m., meaning the initial breakfast crowd has already come and gone. The seating area of the restaurant is currently empty, but uh, the AC seems to notice when you come inside, looking lo- hey. looking similarly crappy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi. Oh, cider. What did? Is- <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I know that we're exposed to a lot of different ponies in the day-to-day operation of the shop, but I don't think I've noticed anybody that looks as bad as you do. <laughs> oh, oh, man. No, it's all right. I'm good. <laughs> oddly, ah. good. Yeah. oddly enough, though, you look at Chef, and he does like he looks significantly worse than he did when he left. <laughs> I'm a wuss when it comes. He's the fortitude when I'm the. Ah, <laughs> oh, hey, oh, uh, how are, how are you? I'm. Uh, I'm. I, ugh. Do we both look? I was planning on having all sorts of fun later, but I don't know. I just don't feel good anymore, and I think. Bed sounds kind of fun. Can we close the shop just a little early? Uh, uh, I think that might be a good idea, I see. I mean, you hear from I don't think... Don't even think about it. Uh, oh, no pony's going to want to eat food prepared and delivered by people that look <laughs> like death. 
Do you know how hard it is to hold a plate in your mouth and cough? You don't. Gosh, sorry, you're such a slave driver. <laughs> hey, ain't no one else paying the bills. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what do you do? What do you? What do I do? What do you do? You're coughing all over the place. You're sitting back here just brewing your booze. <laughs> That's the collection of the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to have, to have a smoke. <laughs> Great. Um, it's just so you, suddenly you hear the, uh, the the little like kind of rusty old bell that's suspended over the door. So whenever it opens, it rings. Uh, it goes off a couple times, and you kind of look look out through the uh, thro- through the counter, and and uh, a small herd of uh, worried looking ponies comes scrambling in, shutting the door behind them and peering expectantly out the front windows. Oh, it's him, the weird traveler coming through. I heard, rel- I heard a reliable source say that he's bad luck. <coughs> oh, no, no, murmur, murmur. It's not the more intense murmur, murmur. Ah. Uh. Mmm. Welcome to Apple Cider's Eatery and Sandy's Eatery and Drinkery. We have, we'll be right with you. We've got <laughs> things you can eat and drink. Um, and food. Seat yourself. They don't appear to notice you or be interested in eating. They're all still they're still look, looking out the window. Move to the window. Take a look out. <laughs> what is it? Hmm. So uh, now, now cue the musical interlude. All right. There we go. Looking outside, you see a tall, graceful pony wearing a dirty and tattered cloak. Obviously long worn and on the road, as well as a large frayed straw hat that covers his head and much of his face. With his long snout starts two long tufts of hair like a mustache that waggles slightly as he walks. He pauses in the middle of the road outside the restaurant, adjusting his bulky pack before walking slowly and deliberately over to the well to take a drink. <gasps> the ponies inside the restaurant whisper among themselves, you know, uh, even le- more loudly. It looks like, as you can look outside, it looks like the streets have, uh, uh, in, in a fashion which you've seen before, the certain zebra have cleared in his wake. Well, that's weird. <coughs> mm, check it out, Sandy. This is... Mm. Just an aside, you guys are kind of cutting out here. There. Are we? We're not... I'm, I'm not cutting out on my end, but... I might need to stand more in front of the microphone. Maybe. We may need to just be a little bit closer to the mic. There we go. Yeah, that might help with that router. Okay, okay. Let me, uh, let me do this. But yeah, so as you, you look out, there's this strange-looking pony. I said he's wearing... A big kind of like bulky cloak, and he's got this giant straw hat. He does look mm. rather odd. <coughs> you know, if I was feeling better, I might go out and you know see what's up. It's kind of weird that everyone's just clearing out. Maybe, no, huh? maybe we should. You know, we're kind of. I don't know. Seems like this is kind of what we do. You know, you think for all of the travelers that come through Ponyville nowadays through, you know, the train system, the town people would be a little less skittish. Maybe. Tell you what, uh, tell you what, let's just, how about we just go out there, just be like, hey, how's it going, what you looking for, in and out, then we can serve those dudes inside, and then we can secretly close the shop while Starry's not paying attention. Sounds good. Okay, all right. So we head outside. As you head outside, uh, you uh, you approach uh, you approach him and he turns slightly towards you. He gives you a better uh, he gives you a better look at it and you realize uh, it's, it's not a pony. He has cloven hooves, and uh, and as as he turns, you can see you can get a better look of his face. He's got, like long tapering snout doesn't yes he doesn't look quite much like a horse, and he's definitely got antlers and a horn. It's a hippogriff. No. Just make a llama corn. <laughs> but he, uh, he 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 eyes you he eyes you uh, strangely as you approach. Hey, how's Welcome it going? Welcome to Ponyville. Hey, I'm Apple Cider. That's Chef Sandy. We're not on top of our game today. Uh, anyway, so um, it's like they imagine there's like there's the the streets empty and silent and like a tumbleweed rolling past you. Yeah. We really need to clean those up. Um, anyway, 
Uh, what, uh, looks like everyone's kind of rolled out, so, um, uh, what can we help you with? I mean, this is kind of, I guess, what we do. His, his, uh, gaze, his gaze scans between the two of you for, uh, for a second, uh, and then, uh, and, and he take, takes a deep breath and, and speaks. And goes, you are the first two to speak, uh, to speak so open, openly with me since I have arrived. For this, I commend you. Oh, it's kind of our thing, you know. Uh, I don't know. It's it seems that we tumble ourselves into bizarre situations more or less. So seems right up there. <laughs> more, <laughs> I find I find it odd that after seven of these, my character has just resigned himself to the fate of of just things going sideways. <laughs> uh all right. <laughs> also, being sick doesn't help. So. He, 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 he kind of grins a little bit. The courtesy is appreciated. Uh, you are the uh, especially for you, my gene. Huh? Uh, he you can see he goes and the hat levitates off, and you're slightly taken aback as he's definitely not quite a pony. He's the tall, like lithe and graceful, and has a, in place of his mane in several places are patches of scales like a dragon. Ah! And he's got two, he has two big, like, kind of elegant ivory antlers and a single curved horn in the center of his head and a long mustache. Um, both of you, yeah, I'm interested, both of you roll smarts to see if you can recognize what the hell he is. I know what it is, but I'd have to, all right, let's see, smarts. Starry would know what it was. <laughs> she's I'm having a, a smoke. Uh, really, I need a dice. All right, I need one of these and a D10. That's a D8. These are pretty. I actually rolled an eight on my smarts. Oh, perfect. Let's let's see if let's see if the smart pony can outroll you here. Doubtful. That's, that's a ten. Okay. Three and a six. All right, so, AC, uh, AC maybe chef definitely like, and you're you're definitely rather surprised as this as is a creature straight out of your storybooks is standing before you. Uh, he is a Kirin. It's, it's an odd, it's an odd uh, something that looks much like a unicorn, but not quite. Uh, I, don't know what the, I don't know what the legendary basis of it would be in Equestria, but it's definitely like the. This is, this is the equivalent of like an elf showing up on your doorstep in real life. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, sh- chef! Don't you have like a, a book with a thing that's like him on it? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I mean. Just like a travel log. I mean, there's lots of creep, a lot of intelligent things like ponies out there in the world. And, gr- and granted, I don't want to say like you. It's not exactly like you. It's just you know of of your type. We don't get a lot of sandy water. They called again. It's a Kieran. Kieran's around here. He kind of grins at you, and like you're, you're slowly taken aback because he's a good like head taller than you, and about one and a half times as wide. And it's like on top of the scales, you realize under under his cloak he is wearing uh, he is wearing uh, armor. We're gonna die. And, and yeah, and likely some <laughs> other interesting implements. I, do, I, I have two come, nice heroes stabbed in the middle of town. I have come to expect such uh, <coughs> uh, such things from you, my gene. I have come. Uh, I have come to this town from far away. Our, uh, our kingdom is well beyond the seas, bordering yours. <coughs> like, like, he says, "You." He, he like how looks strangely. Like, he says, "Hey, you two are the only who have spoken to me. Why is this?" Uh, I don't know. People around here are oddly spooked. There's a lot that happens here. It's. There's a lot that happens here, so um, I think that's why. That's my guess. Mm. You know, we, we we kind of get ourselves in the mess of it, more or less, and, you know, it's not a big deal. Though it, uh, though it is beneath my station, I, do, uh, I need, I require lodging for the, uh, in this town. Ooh, uh, okay, um... Well, we might be able to make something. I'd just have to... I mean, the two options are you could stick with us. Um, Starry's going to be pissed. Um, maybe. Um, 
But we could check on that. Uh, otherwise, I mean, there's a inn down the way. It's really good. Uh, just, um, you know, just uh, tell the, the, the mayor at the front desk, you know me, she'll get you a nice deal. You know, we're kind of buds. Uh, you know, um, but yeah, I mean. I require no such special arrangements. Oh, oh, You're yeah. a- your uh, your home shall be as mine. Uh, uh oh, okay, sure, yeah. Um, yeah. Let me go uh, check with uh with Starry real fast, see if she's cool with it. Um, you know, we we at the very least, we definitely have uh, um, you know, some place you can lay your head. So we we can. It just depends on you know where and whatnot. So uh, yeah, let me let me go check on this. Uh, Sandy, uh, you want to just keep our uh, new friend here co- uh, company while I go check on that? Yeah, sure. Uh, All, right. All right, cool. Uh, I'll be right back. Don't leave me with the Germans. <laughs> uh, as AC walks away, he uh, he looks back down at you, Chef. I must uh, I must confess that I am new to this area. Has there been <clears throat> any strange happenings about this about this place? <laughs> oh well, there's lots of things that happen, but uh, the most recent thing is like some people have gotten sick. I don't really think that's too out of the ordinary. I mean, there's always some sort of random stuff blowing in from the forest nearby. I mean, what sort of mad pony puts a settlement next to a magically untamable forest? I he's don't like, know. As, as you're talking, he's like kind of like getting a little like in your face a little bit. He's looking, he's at, looking at you like he's trying to examine something. Is there something on my face? It must. It may be deeper than that. He steps back, and his, his center horn glows kind of like a yellowy green for a second. And uh, and chef, you feel you suddenly feel a, a feeling like you know like your legs asleep, but it passes through like your entire body all at once, and like really oh. you know, unpleasant. Like oh, he, t- he looks back. And he goes, I, bl- I believe I have f- found the first sign of my quarry. Oh, quarry? Yes. I. Uh... That was certainly an interesting spell you did there. I mean, they're certainly different. <laughs> it, is the, so, it is the purest essence of jade. Like, but these matters are rather unpleasant. We shall speak about them in, uh, away from the prying eyes of the other of the other Omaijin. Sure. That sounds good. It gives you a curt nod and lead, uh, lead the way. All right. Uh, follow me. I... I think Starry will just get to deal with it. So you, lead him back in, you lead him back into the restaurant, and he, and yeah, he immediately just kind of like shucks his cloak off and sets the, the big pack down. And yeah, he's com- like, he's definitely, he's definitely looks dirty, you know, like he's been on the road and whatnot, and his his hair is kind of overgrown. Definitely needed need of a trim, but he is definitely wearing a full suit of uh, of armor. And he's got he's got several several weapons about him in various places. Wow, that's uh, that's rivals anything I've seen on a one of the local guards. It must be a pretty serious adventure. I uh, I am a warrior among my people, the highest uh, uh, the highest regarded and most honorable. Oh, neat. Unfortunately, so far away from my lands, I must uh, I must make do with uh, with you commoners uh, as my companions. Well, you know, it, it takes all kinds, I suppose. You know, yeah, he just, he just like wa- marches over. By oh, and by then, the the, the ponies who are inside have have long since like run out the through the kitchen and out the back door to get away from him. He just takes he he goes like takes a seat at the center table and like bangs his cloven hoof on it. I will require water. Okay. Uh... Be right back. I guess the others that had come in have fled. Yeah, so they, they like they took off through your kitchen and out the back door. <laughs> it is now an oh. empty room with just him. Yeah, it's a good thing that we have that internal well. Let's go to the kitchen and use the pump. He's like magically wringing out his mustache. I come back down. Okay, so <clears throat> she's not happy, but that's not new. Um. Hey, we should be good. I return with water in a suitable cup. <laughs> He'd love it. Love it. Tastes over and takes a drink. Like, yes, I, much, uh, much thanks to you. 
Now, the matter of which I spoke earlier. Oh, sure, yeah. That, the thing. <laughs> you see, I have, come, I, I have come here from across the seas, hunting, hunting a most deadly and vicious quarry. And it appears that it has already made its way here. Huh. You see, I... It's, I for, uh, for the... Though it is normally uh, though it is normally above or below my station to give it, you may you may address me uh, my uh, my family name, Hida. Oh, hey, Hida, how's it going? Sure thing, Hida. Now, I have uh, I have come here uh, from our, uh, from our empire to pr- pursue this foe. It, uh, it, uh, it, it, it washed uh, we, as far as we can tell. It washed ashore here in your land, and we have been tracking it and its and its kin. Across your country. Okay, so simple question is, what is it? In our it, in our language, it is one. Of, it is a demon, the Oni. Uh, okay, that oh. sounds bad. Indeed. Yeah. He's, um, he, he looks at Sandy Sama, or Sun. You have, uh, you have met with this demon, have you not? <coughs> I. Yes, I mean, I ran into some old pony on the road. I don't know what a pony looks like. It, they come in they come in many shapes and sizes, and they disguise themselves at will. What did what did it say to you? It well, I if you know if that old pony I saw on the road was the thing you're looking for. I mean, it was just a. Old pony trying to pull a cart and got stuck in the mud. And I helped him out, and he asked my name and took off. Oh, and, and, and like stands up and like, oh, this is most unfortunate. You will follow him prey to the Oni's tricks. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was just trying to be a helpful pony. I, hmm. Question. Okay. So he's sick. Why am I sick too? I wasn't even... I haven't even seen this Oni Chan thingy. Uh, he, he looks at you He looks at you in his horn glows that kind of yellowish green, and you feel a similar sensation. Uh, uh, oh. You do not You do not bear the taint. Right? Oh. You are simply sick. Oh. Oh. It, 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 Great. If I may be of service, and the like, horn glows blue, and a <laughs> wave of what feels like scalding water kind of sleeps over you. No! Oh! But you wake up, and, like as it passes, you kind of shake your head, and your sinuses have cleared. Oh, man! Okay. Oh, oh. All right. Oh, all right. C- cool. Cool. Thanks. Wow. He looks. He looks back to Everett Shefflin. Unfortunately, there is nothing I can do for you at this time. <coughs> you see, when the Oni asked for your name, you gave it to him willingly. He uh, he now possesses your name. Oh, so what do we call him now? You may call him whatever you wish, but the uh, the name that represents his uh, even for you, my gene that represents his true soul has been taken from him. If it uh, oh, it will it will uh, if not returned, it will not be, not be long until you're uh, until you wither away, and your name will be uh, your name and your very soul will be taken by the oni. He will be uh, able to manif- uh, He will be take your place on the mortal plane, and your eternal soul will be banished to Jigoku. That sounds really bad, AC. Could we give him another name? <laughs> it was. It'd be, it would be unwise. Huh. I could call you like Roy or something else. I if can that'll work. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like Sandy. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of your thing. We, I mean, we could call you a cactus butt or something. You know, that, I mean, that that would technically be accurate. I mean, I got apple cider on mine. I mean, Chef Sandy, I mean, the only thing, like, Sandy-related on yours is just the fact it's a cactus, which grows in sand, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't want to be, you know, <laughs> spiky or... Spiky wiky. You know, yeah, I think somebody's already taken his spiky. Yeah, and that guy, well. <laughs> Boy. Cuckold, man. <laughs> All right. He says, hey, he says it, is, it is most unfortunate for the situation. The only are most most treacherous. And they are and they are as eager to escape their uh, the, the the realm of darkness as you uh, 
as you are not to want to join us. So why do they do that then? Like, just go around and steal names and turn into things. Like, that seems like bad. Like, bad form. The, the, the Oni are creatures of pure evil. Huh? They seek nothing b- uh, more than, than to cause destruction and chaos. In your case, with your, with, with your name, the Oni will be, able, uh, will be able to live as as you do, while, uh, while your soul will be returned to Jigoku to be gnawed on by the other Oni for all of eternity. Uh, Sandy, this, this sounds like one of those things we need to prepare ahead of time. Remember, yeah. remember that the code word is banana. Yes. Just there. Just so you know, I've seen enough movies. Banana. Okay? All right. The, 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 he does kind of look at you straight. Like, your ways are strange. Even even amongst what the ones I have seen. Yeah, we get that a lot. Nevertheless, I am a current. Uh, I have been alone in my quest, but you, Sandy Sama, yeah, you will accompany me. For your uh, your so- uh, though you are in my gene, your soul is at stake, and I feel compelled to uh, to assist you. I yeah, I I would appreciate some help because I like my soul. I I don't like. I don't like the concept of getting gnawed on eternally by whatever those things you said were. That sounds very unpleasant. So, yeah, let's, um, I, we should go after that guy. I, I would like my name back. That would be good. Uh, yes. We must, uh, we must plan carefully for the, uh, the, the, the Oni has, has traveled with much great purpose into, uh, towards this very spot. He, it, it must be planning something. Though what, I am not sure. Hmm. <laughs> do, do you have, like, a map or something? Uh, not, not that you see immediately. Okay. Uh, well... There, where, where did you see the, uh, the Oni in disguise heading after you spoke with him? He went to the forest outside of town. Uh, it's, the, it's called the Everfree Forest. It's kind of a scary place. There's monsters and rockadiles and cockatrices and kind of a hot mess. Yeah, I uh, I have faced many uh, many worse places in my in my tenure as a warrior. What might uh, what might be of interest to a to a to a demon? Bent on conquering all of you, uh, all of life on this on this earth. Well, uh, let's see what what's out there. There's that uh, there's that uh, zebra. She's out there. She's she's really smart and like potions and things like that. Comes into town every once in a while. Uh, I think there's a bog or two. There's the old equestrian uh, like castle and. Uh, there's that tree, I guess, or something that the elements are in and things, and I, I don't know. The elements. I yeah. have heard, I have heard tale among your folk of such, of such objects of power. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, there's like these, uh, six mares, they're actually in this town, it's kind of crazy, but, um, they, uh, yeah, they, they have like, they had all these like really crazy powers, and then, like, one of them turned into a princess, and, like, everybody was really happy, and then some people got really annoyed, and I thought that was weird. Um, and then, like, uh, recently they had to, like, take care of something, and they put the, all their stuff back into this big white tree, and, uh, you know, this is just hearsay. I haven't seen it, because, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't go into that, uh, into that forest, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I only do know is there's that weird vine infestation mm. that we had to deal with a few months ago. Gross. That was unpleasant. Gross. Yes. May, uh, that may be very well, uh, may very well be this Oni's target. With a, with a name and the ancient magics of your people behind it, it would, it, it would be nigh on unstoppable. <laughs> well, um, I mean, we could, we could, See if we can find those, like, find them, because they know exactly where it is, but, you know, they're they're usually... Wait, what? what? Oh, crud, I think they're up there doing all that stuff up for the games. Yeah, so I was just about to say, you, yeah, were, you remember, I can't, like... I can't, yeah, I know that we couldn't invoke them, so it's like, oh, they're, they're doing stuff for the... They're, they're actually at the exact same time, or getting ready for the, like, oh, yeah, they're doing the equestrian game stuff, oh, the, uh, the, getting the, ready for that. The, the, the last you heard... Uh... They they all they all boarded the next train to Manhattan. 
Yeah, so they're they're out. We're we're always the B squad. <laughs> go go B team. We're, we're we're like like they are the SG one. We're like SG six or something. I always imagine it like uh, they're the ones who do all the really important stuff. But like the, the moment they look away, there's always something going on, and you're the ones who have to take care of that. <laughs> Just like ah oh, crap. He, uh, he 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 looks back at Chef. Like, uh, Chef Son, as the as the Oni's hold over you increases, you will uh, it will eventually begin to whisper into your mind, and you will see through its eyes. Right. You must uh, oh. you must not give into this te- to its temptation. But uh, it may help it may help us to uh, discover the location of the beast. Okay, that sounds good, man. This, the trouble I go through to try to get the specials ready for this week. Oh man! Yeah, I guess this the moral of this story will be: don't help others. It's kind of messed up. Yeah, yep. don't help others because might be a demon. Don't usually send those letters to the princess. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, so yeah, we I learned someone? that he was a dick. <laughs> so, I, what we should do is just throw salt on him, somebody, every time you talk to him, just in case. So, just so I know, is there anything we can do, like, we're going into that forest, which, granted, is not a great thing. Is there anything we can do just to, like, pop Chef back into his senses every once in a while? Like, cold water, energy drinks, like, anything? Strong cider? If that, That's easy to come by, actually. The, the, pull, of the, the pull of the Oni is strong, mm. and I can... Uh, I may be able to hold its grasp at bay with my with my jade magic. Mm, I'll carry a flask of hard cider just in case. Yeah. <laughs> I can do I do magic with my ciders. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. <coughs> all right. <coughs> yeah. mm, still got some leftover. He, he, he pauses. Like, first. Uh, First, I will, uh, uh, I will, I will wash the, the soil of the road from my, and that for myself. Then, you shall prepare me a meal, and then we shall, oh, we shall ride down. Uh, okay, that sounds good. Um, uh, sounds good to me. I mean, seems kind of uh, like time's a wasting, but all right. Sure, yeah, yeah, let's, let's. yeah, we we should probably hustle because you know the longer this guy has my soul or whatever the. I imagine it's going to get unpleasant for me, and I already feel like crap, so that's going to suck. And you don't want to see me when I'm really feeling whiny. That would be bad. Yeah, he's he's kind of a drama queen when he gets that way. <laughs> he, 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 uh, just, he just kind of like stares at you. Yeah, we should get the food. Yeah, it seems good. Um, yeah, well, we'll be right back. I, I, guess, I, am not used to, uh, I am not used to this commerce that you, uh, you imagine seem to take such relish in, but perhaps... Like levitates like a coin per head. This will do, and he like, spills out a bunch of like weird foreign-looking coins, which appear to be made of solid gold. Uh, Ooh, shiny! T- such nice. such pecuniary matters are below that of a warrior. Take what you will. He goes. He goes back, and he's and he's like starts fi- like filling through his pack, and he's pulling out like tea set, a bunch of other stuff, mm-hmm. and all that. Okay, all right. Well, we take pretty much what he's offered because that takes care of us for the month uh pretty much. it'd be very useful if i need to buy myself a new uh, a, a new you know sign <laughs> a new sign buy a new sign and or pay for somebody to come be a business partner you pay for me to pay for your funeral expenses <laughs> so those get expensive uh all right so let me take those meals gonna be i guess quick salad of Oh man, what do Kieran's eat? Hmm. I am actually interested to see what you try to feed. Oh him. no, this is this is now terrifying. So I don't well, know. I mean, they, they, there's some relatively fresh, you know, cactus apple surprise and some, you know, listed as on the top, relatively fresh. <laughs> Well, I mean, I made it like yesterday oh. evening for today's lunch rush, and you know, it's it's a dessert. It goes in the ice box, and we can because we have one of those things. Refrigerator's totally real. Uh, they have arcade cabinets. Why not? Yeah, yeah. 
And they can do they they're they're a pegasi that can make ice, I'm sure. Uh let's see. Um, I'm just trying to think if Kirins are meat eaters or not. Let's see. They are part dragon. Hmm. Trying to think. We could get some like fish from the like crazy from that yellow pony. I I actually assume that with the Griffins being around and kind of a thing that there is like a secret like butcher shop that you can go to and just be like, just go down the corner, knock on the door like three times, use the safe word banana, and they'll let you inside. Yeah, ask ask for the long horse. <laughs> I see this we don't want any more weird rumors coming up about us. I think that's a bad idea. All right, we could, we could just do we could do the 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 tofer something. I don't know. So what? Are you, uh, just real quick, what are you preparing? Uh, how about uh, we could do the salad? We could obviously uh, some of my special cider. Um, some hay fries. Uh, we could yeah, hay fries usually good. Match it with a uh, a. Toe with a with a pony based meat substitute meat thing. Pony based? No, no, no. But just like a tofu, like, yeah, tofu, based. tofu, tofu based, pony based, <laughs> based out of pony fake meat. Um, That's what I was worrying about. It's it's stuff we had to import oh. from uh, the Griffin Kingdom. Sandy, uh, you do have those books on uh, on Napon culture, actually, right? Uh, I yeah, but they're upstairs. And go grab them. Uh, we'll fake something. Actually, we should probably do culinary rolls. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. That actually seems pretty good. We should do. We should try it. We we BS food rolls before. We should probably do that. So well, I have knowledge cooking. And, yeah, and you have knowledge brewing. So let's see what you come up with in terms of a dinner and drink combo. All right. Every time you every time you look out there, he's like just sitting there at the table. What do we uh, do? He's magic. I did not do very well on the cooking. I got a three and a three. Six and a three. <laughs> He's going to have the best brew of his life. He's got 14 on the brew. You bring him a Kirin beer. <laughs> Which is actually pretty good. I don't mind that stuff. But, um, yeah. So, Chef, you're, try- you're trying to cook, and you know it's pretty simple, but just, like, you like you cannot stay focused, and the thing you're... You have to really like concentrate, and you're kind of dizzy. And whatever whatever this thing is, is is taking its toll on you. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, so you 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 serve some like, yeah, instead of saying some like half done hay fries, and a salad where all the dressing is just in one big blob in the center. Me- meanwhile, I discovered that I actually still <laughs> had a bottle of experimental apple cider, which I used with rice yeast a while back. <laughs> Making his own sake. <laughs> oh, very good. He, uh, it's like you, you bring in the food, and he very he like very like deliberately and very very like politely eats the, samples the samples the food, and is trying to look at like the weird like tofu slab, which looks like a which looks like a like a t bone <laughs> steak. <laughs> You, my Jean, have very strange customs. He goes, and he like kind of gives, kind of gives you to kind of a dirty look as he goes, like it like levitates the food into his mouth and kind of chews it. Mm. Goes, very, very well. He try, yeah, he tries like, mm. Saki, you uh, you have such things in these lands. Uh, I I like to experiment every once in a while, you know. I brew for fun as well as you know for profit. So I like to I, I find out some stuff every once in a while, and uh, just had a bottle of this lying around and went, "Hey, why not?" What was your final roll? Uh, it was a fourteen. I yeah. rolled I rolled six six and two. Like yeah, see he levit he levitates it, pours out into four different tea glasses, and goes, hmm, and, just, and like levitate one two three four and drinks all of them. <laughs> It is very honorable. <laughs> yes. Yay. You have, uh, most Im- most impressive, Umajin. Hey, I'm going to say it's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know what that meant. <laughs> it is the name for uh, for all of us outside, the, uh, all of you outside of the Empire. Oh. For- foreigners. Oh, is it a... I don't know if that's one... Foreigner in his own land. <laughs> He's not in his own land. 
that's what I'm saying. He's in his land, so how is he a foreigner? Well, no, every, everyone else who's not a Kirin, oh. filthy, filthy Gaijin. Okay. Yeah, isn't Gaijin the, the bad word? That's the one where it's, like, barbarian? Yeah, it's, like, derogatory. But I, I, I swapped in the Japanese name for horse there. So. Oh, okay. There you go. Uma. So, um, he goes, Head the, like, very well then. We, we leave within the hour. Pa- uh, prepare yourselves accordingly, for you shall have to be my guides on this mission. All right. And I, I assume by the fact that we've done this seven times that we've almost got drop bags ready, where it's like, don't worry, we'll be ready in fifteen. In, ca- in, in case of in case of <laughs> absurdity, break glass. <laughs> this happens more it's, often than you think. We have our bug out bags. <laughs> yes. Prep, prepping for the next adventure. Uh, yeah. But the, uh, the, the, no, I didn't want to say, was there anything, uh, you were, with, with the intention that you're going to be going deep into Everfree Forest? Uh, I will bring a bottle of the special stuff that he really liked, just in case. Uh, I will bring a little bit of the, of the strongest cider I have in case I need to resuscitate, uh, Sandy at some point. Uh, let's see. I will bring rope because if anything, the Boondock Saints have told me that it's always important to bring rope. Uh, okay, Why are we like, gonna need rope? <laughs> we're, gonna, we're going deep into the forest. A very dangerous mission. We need more alcohol. <laughs> uh, rations. The usual sort. Of yeah, yeah. The the usual. No, nothing too. Nothing too heavy. You know. Okay. But, but, is it, but it's like. I will take note. You have rope. You have your like some survival gear, and you have your you definitely have your the, the best of your dry, uh, ciders. Yeah, well, I have I have one bottle of the of the good stuff that he liked, and one of my uh, blast you in the face it, stuff is might as well be flammable. Um, as you uh, as you walk like uh, it, as you, as you prepare, he like he steps out back and summons uh, summons water to wash himself in midair. Which just kind of sweeps over him and then back off, and he's sparkling clean. Sandy, hold this, hold it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I'm I'm worried about the stuff I'm gonna bring. All right, that's good. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna need. I know you and magic. I don't want to. I really don't have the energy to care right now. I uh, see. Okay, that's I, good. Demon uh, stole my soul. I've got other things to think about. <laughs> it's like yeah, you know. <laughs> It's going to be one of those things. I'll deal with it. I mean, I'm okay with Pixel. It's all right. Just come on. Do you, uh, do you Would you say you love and tolerate her? Sure. <laughs> she's, a, she's a pretty cool pony. Doesn't do magic that much and doesn't afraid of anything. All right. Uh, I will say that I'm going to be packing, like, my, my apple cider first aid kit, a.k.a. it's the first aid kit that I keep around for apple cider when he hurts himself. Mm-hmm. And, uh, hey! you know, as some of the, uh, prepared, uh, <laughs> some specially prepared travel hay cubes. Because, you know, it's like calorie mate. It's like yeah, hay. It's, it's like gorp or something. And, uh, just see what else. Probably like a candle or two and a hat. Because hats are important. You're, yeah, so you get, you all get packed up, and and, he, and then he's already ready to go. So he, like he he's chucked his like traveling cloak and the big stupid hat, and so he's just in all the, his resplendent glory is wearing this like you know splint mail samurai armor, the full with a helmet and every uh, and everything. You can see he's got like he's got a pair of swords, one short and one long, that are that are sheathed at, at, at each side, and he probably knows how to use them. And he, car- and he carries with him a small, like a small traveling traveling pack too. All right. Well, uh, I think we're all like good to go. We're 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 set for you know a night on the town. We or I, in the <clears> forest. <throat> that, if, that's a saying. Don't don't worry about it. If, uh, if your if, if your beliefs revolve around your princess uh, watching over your souls, I advise you to pray to her now. Duh. Why would you sure. watch over my soul? I don't. No. He, he, he like he, he like l- open, levitates over the door like forward. You shall uh, you as my guides shall lead. Oh us, okay, cool. Yep. Uh, All right. Well, let's. Uh... Uh, I'll I'll lead. You know what? Uh, s- uh, you know, and Sandy, you just stick close to our our new friend here, and uh, you know he'll he'll keep you he'll keep you good. 
Um, I'll yeah, I'll go forward. Let's do this. <laughs> Excitement, energy, yeah. I feel like yeah. I feel like look over at Chef and he's just like looks like crap and is like just keep going. <laughs> um, so very like so the, the three of you the three of you head out. Um, <laughs> the AC crash kit. <laughs> what? Just for any for the, all the elements that will become of me. Oh yeah. So um, you head out, and I'm assuming Chef probably leads him back to where the old pony went onto the road, or went, went off the road into the forest. Yeah. So uh, he was right around here. See, there's the mud, and there's the tracks, and then to kind of stop here. Except he went off that way, and I don't know how he'd pull a cart through that, but he kind of did. The cart was likely part of his uh, part of his illusory magic. Oh, well, that makes sense. We can teach, uh, teach me to help old people stranded near a deadly forest. <laughs> you learned your lesson. He goes, no, Sandy son, like you, uh, we we can attempt to track the creature, but he is most uh, is most elusive. If need be, you may, uh, you may concentrate and may be able to make contact with the beast. Okay. Well, it will it would allow us to see to to sense his direction and see through his eyes temporarily. Though I do not recommend it uh, done any more than necessary, as it dra- as it drags your drags you further towards its control. <laughs> I pull I pull out my my special. All right, when we need to pull him back, yeah. you're going to get progressively more crazy and more drunk as this goes on. I'm not drunk. That's just the taint talking. <laughs> so, uh, the, the, this, just for the first part of this, you can either choose to roll nature to attempt to track the the, the oni. It'll. I'm just saying the 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 target number to track it will be very difficult. Uh, you can reduce. You can reduce that and try not to get lost. Um, if 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 chef wants to try to see if it can if it can uh, like kind of. Locate the uh, see where it can sense where the oni that stole its name is. All right. Well, I can try to concentrate as hard as I can. I mean, I probably have a headache and yeah. don't feel too good. But I will get this. We've got to got to find this guy. So, what do I need to roll for that, though? Okay. So, hey, either of you can roll nature. I don't have nature. I don't got nature. We are townsfolk ponies. Not adventure ponies. <laughs> Starry from somewhere. <laughs> I would know nature, you jerks. She's what? <laughs> this adventure is too stupid for her. <laughs> um, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll for him though. I I, I can roll just un- unlearned. Yeah, bo- uh, both of you can roll untrained, which is oh yeah. Which I said is you D4 roll D6. you roll yeah D four and a D six, but you subtract two from whatever your final roll is. So I got a six and a zero. So well, six and a two. So that's a four and a zero. Uh, six plus five is eleven. Oh wait, minus do, two. do your die six roll a six? Yeah. Remember, it, ex- it explodes. Oh yeah. Well, that's why I rolled it again and rolled a five. Oh, I'm for we're a chef here. Right. Okay, so that's nine. Okay, so nine minus two is seven. Or no, it's it was eleven minus two. Oh, okay. Nine. I got a five. I got a six and a five. Then take so off two. We got the same. Nine. We both yeah. got nine. Good. Uh, we, we both exploded our sixes and then rolled fives on 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 untrained rolls. Well <laughs> so we, we just go. Oh no! It went that way. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Just so, despite uh, dis- <laughs> despite everything, both of you actually managed to catch the catch the trail of whatever this whatever this oni creature is. You see that uh, as it, after a short ways into the woods, the like muddy hoof prints <laughs> shift. And get bigger and larger and more toe like and more toed until you're following a trail of like big like foot across like clawed footprints. You know, I'm not really you know naturey or noticey that much, but this thing looks like it's getting bigger. <laughs> well, I mean, it makes sense if he was uh, if he was uh, using. Magic to disguise himself as include the card. I mean, he could be pretty big. I don't know. The, the, the only may take many uh, take many forms. Whatever uh, whatever suits their purpose. We must uh, we must be wary for uh, it may even be try it may even be wa- uh, waiting in ambush for us. 
Wait. Oh. Was was there ever a cart? Was he the cart too? He was the cart all along. Uh, <laughs> and that cart was named Rosebud. <laughs> Um, this is as, 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 as you're walking through, you, but you, yeah, you roll, you both hit the target number, um, which, which was nine. Wow. Well, no, you, you, you or are above, above it. it. Okay. But um, he's uh, a, a, as you're walking and such, uh, he, he kind of like glances over at, at, at Chef. Like, hmm. <laughs> it is it is curious. Most Umajin I have uh, I have encountered so far have not been as it has not been as so. Gung ho as you two. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, well, I mean, we've been through some stuff. Like, there was the spooky. Uh, let's see. Remember that time we fought goo bags at, and during yeah. nightmare nights? Or there was the time we got lost on that island and spiders. <sighs> then there was the time we were apes. That was weird. Yeah, that was really weird. <laughs> yeah, so we, um... That's all you can really say about that. We, um... Woo. Whoa, whoa, sweetie. What? You just messed with something. Getting feedback here. You're getting major feedback. Um, if you can hear this one moment, we're having a technical difficulty here. Bear with us, if you guys can hear this. I can't. Alright, don't mess with anything. Are we, is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. It may not have been something that would have been picked up on the recording side. It was the, our our my, our headphone side. Chef, what are you there? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> you probably didn't hear any of that. You just heard us cr- freaking out. I was in the middle of saying something, and it was like... Bah! Okay, I think we're good. Anyway, That might happen again because of the way I've got the audio set up. But where were we? <coughs> Hey, uh, so we were explaining our past adventures. It's yeah, it seems that I, uh, that uh, that I have chosen uh, and I have chosen the least experienced uh, uh, <coughs> a common co- uh, common companions on this quest. Uh yeah, I guess so. It's kind of gotten like that. Yes. Though uh, though you may not be able to understand the concept of honor or duty, like that, uh, I, I appreciate your uh, your willingness. Uh, to uh, to assist us, or assist, uh, to assist the empire in this matter. Well, I mean, we're kind of shared interest. What with my, you know, friend here being all about to lo- jump the mortal coil and all, so it's kind of invested interests. And then, uh, actually, while while he's talking, Chef, you can on on occasion, if there's a moment of quiet, you can kind of hear like a voice in the back of your head. Just like a faint little whisper, no, nothing you can make out. It kind of comes and goes. It's, it's a whispering dark. Yeah. Thing. Buy a timeshare. <laughs> Buy my. Oh book. man, <laughs> it's just giving you bad advice. Yeah, just be like, start working on bitcoins. Oh. You know, <laughs> yeah. just bit bits of the future. Buy buy every bitcoin. <laughs> but um, as, as, they're, as they're walking, um. Um, so the, a, a, as you travel along, you're following the uh, the, tra- the Oni's trail. You hear, begin to hear kind of like a roaring up ahead, and as you clear through the forest, you come and there's a there's a big, uh, jagged like rock uh, gorge that cuts through the forest. And there's a raging river, you know, a hundred feet below. Um, you look like in both directions, and it's just you know it's just un- like, nearly impassable terrain on both sides, and there's no good bridge over the, over this over this gorge. It's not very it's not very wide. But it is like you know, it's like a hundred feet onto some jagged rocks below. Duh. Um, all right. Well, mm. well, it either went for a swim, a very messy swim, or it jumped over there. The benefit, the 
unfortunate side of not being Pegasi at this exact moment. Mm. This, uh, such natural barriers are of little impediment to these creatures. Mm. Suggestions. Ow, a missing pony. Mean. Bad advice. You always hear that from AC. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, all right. Well, there's no way... There's no bridge or anything. There's rocks below. Oh, hmm. Did it just jump? I wonder how we would get across this guy. Hmm. I guess there's no way we can climb down safely on this. It would be it would be like a hundred foot climb down a sheer rock face into a across a raging river and then up another hundred foot sheer rock face. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could do that. <laughs> I've climbed climbed up a sheer rock face before. I just then the spiders got me. Oh. All right, what kind of nuts there? <laughs> Things kind of got crazy. Um. Well, we do have rope. You do have rope. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Time to use rope. So what is, what's what's the plan you propose? I propose that I'm going to use the classic lasso it around something on the other side, and then we use, we crawl across the rope bridge, the single strand of rope that we have set across. All it's right. always good to use rope. Well, is there... Didn't you mention that there was like a broken bridge or is a rickety bridge or No, there's there's no sign of a bridge here. Oh, okay. We could go back to town, contact the Corps of Engineers and have them build a bridge and it will be done put within in, two years. Put in a work request. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then it would then it would then they'll just wonder there'll be the bridge to nowhere, because who comes out here? What's the yeah. What's the logistics of having a bridge here? Having to 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 state that it's you know my friend's soul on the line. It's another Celestia pork barrel project. <laughs> uh, all right, so I think the best thing to do is do the classic lasso across to thing on other side, and now we have to trapeze across this piece of rope. Okay, so um, to, using a using a lasso is or using a rope as a lasso is a fighting attack because you're using it's a it's a, I, there. There are actually rules in the Savage World of My Little Pony book for using a lasso. I have a fighting skill. So either uh, each each of you, if you want, can try to take a shot. Uh, if you roll, if you roll poorly enough, you might lose the lasso. Oh no! Don't lose my lasso, bro. But this, but this is this is a, a, a like a fighting roll because you have to you have to like swing the uh, throw the lasso up and uh, yeah, two and a four. Okay. Um. So that that's not quite gonna make it. Oh no, AC, come AC, on! AC goes like has to tuck it with his mouth, and it kind of falls short, and then has to tow it back in. Do I need to do this, AC? Only if those dice rolls were good. All right, well. uh... I have a D4 in fighting, mm -hmm. and I got a D. I got four on the D4 and a two, so I need to re-roll the D4. Sure. It should be another four. Yeah, all right, we got it. <laughs> and a three. Nice. So, so eleven. Okay, it's more, more than enough. Um, it splits into multiple pieces of rope and wraps around different trees that we can now use to simply walk across. It's now a rope bridge. Chef has to. You have to blink like kind of blink a couple times to fight off the dizziness for a second. But you, uh, you can, like give me that, and like <laughs> throw throw the lasso in, in his stead, and it like sails right across and grab and grabs like firmly onto a tree trunk. Bang! <coughs> and pull it tight. Hey, see, you're still good at this. I mean, I, I, I know you'd be good at this. All right. Um, well, now. That's the easy part. Now we've got to only navigate this piece of rope across the raging rip rivers and sharp spikes below. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So, um... Uh... Anyone want to go first? No? Didn't think so. The, the, the Kyrian just looks at you like, it, it, as always, you shall, uh, you shall lead and test the way for me. <laughs> oh, I... Sure. I get... Uh, 
All right, well, Sandy made that, so I guess I'll go first, Mr. Agility 4. <laughs> In, yeah, indeed. Uh, as, as, you cro- uh, as you try to cross the, the tightrope, roll agility. Oh, boy. Uh, just, just, just agility. Nothing, or is there a D6 on that? Or just, yes. Okay, yeah. all right. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. All right, five and a three. Okay. And remember, you can always spend a penny if you want. Well, I want to. Uh, I you five have, out of a six, I can't. You do have a lawn, so if you, um, if you re-roll it, you automatically get a plus two to the roll. Mm. All right, I'll match well at this point. Have your beanie back. All right, let's see. Let's do that again. I should just, I should just eat this. <laughs> Gonna have a shiny shit later. All right, let's do this. Uh, you didn't help me. It's uh, whatever the it, you remember. You take the the way it works is you take the better of the two rolls. Okay, so that's five. So plus one would be six. Two plus two. Oh, all right. So five, seven. Yes. Okay. Um, so, AC kind of goes out there and says, like, well, yeah. never walked a tightrope before, but manages to, to pull it off just, uh, just, just barely enough. Um, sh- uh, I guess, Chef, you're going next? Okay. AC is, like, shaking, like, and he gets to, the other, gets to the other side. Well, I get to, at least I have a six in agility. Yes. That's... Don't bat in, Sandy. I got a two and a six. Right. Whoop. Roll it On again. a D six, so hot dice today. Yes, uh, and a five, so eleven. <laughs> I see I don't know why you seem to be having so much trouble. I mean <laughs> I'm not the one I'm, possessed with a demon and is having is just having these hot rolls as he goes across. Uh, apparently, yes. Let's blame my luck on demons today <laughs> because yeah. So I just I just made a, made a little roll here, Chef. As you start climbing out over the rope, the like the no, uh, the uh, the voice in the back of your head intensifies, and suddenly like the wind starts blasting down the gorge at you. Uh. And it's like the the the, the, the Kyrian shouts something in an, in an unknown language, but uh, you manage you manage to like wrap onto the rope. Um, I I rolled and rolled well, but I rolled a ten. You just didn't beat the eleven. Yes. Wow. So, uh, Chef, you have basically have to hang on there for a good five minutes, but you manage to hang on for dear life and are able to, uh. and are able yeah, as the, as the wind is like blowing you sideways, uh, you are able to you're able to like uh, hoof scooch. over, yeah, kind of scooch your way over and la- like land in a heap on the other side of the gorge. Um, the 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 uh, Hida just si- uh, simply like walks down the tightrope like it's a flat bridge. Of course he would. He's perfect. He seems to, he seems to be blessed with utterly perfect balance. All right. Uh, I guess suppose we can retrieve the rope. Or yes. We, all right. Rope retrieved. Yeah, you just untie it and yeah. pull it. Um. <laughs> so. Well, that, that, uh, 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 well, that was close. That was uh, that was no mere no mere random occurrence. It appears that it, it appears that my quarry is aware of our presence. Yeah, pr- pretty much Sandy is just hearing bad advice, dog, the whole time. Got something in your eye? Wash it out with bleach. More, I was thinking less, less bad advice and more just, you know, like the whispers of the damned. I know. Justin Bieber is actually pretty good. <laughs> Have you seen the new Rebecca Black song? No. Adam Sandler makes pretty good movies. <sighs> <laughs> Terrible. Right, let's not let's not jo- let's not joke about that. <laughs> this is too dark. This is way yeah. too dark. Yes, yeah, I'm sorry. This is a this is a PG. <laughs> uh, this is a family friendly uh, adventure. Yes. Uh, but the the, the Kiwi gives Chef gives you kind of a concerned look as you guys keep going. Um, but travel it, you it, it, traveling like how uh, for a while, especially that that whole affair took uh, took a while, and you're forced to. You are forced to pitch camp at some point. You find, you find like a you manage to find like a dry hollow between some trees, where it's actually like relatively flat ground. Nope. <laughs> Says the the affliction has gotten to yeah him. exactly. No, Chef especially is like at this point you're like just you're feeling exhausted and everything. Um, 
the yeah, the, the, the Kyrian simply just like magically pitches a small tent around himself, uh, so he, uh, to go to sleep. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> you okay over there? Yeah. Oh, man. So it's um, actually me. He, he, he was just he was just losing a few extra pounds. Say like cough the pounds away. Is this how this works? Sandy's got dropped like a hundred and twenty. I know pounds I've been falling. It's, it's been very. It's been awesome. Yep. It's good, just gonna be this wayfish, just rail of a creature by the next time I see you. Just, just like yeah, you're yeah, you're gonna be like a soft doughy rock in comparison. <laughs> I know. You'd be like, oh look at hey, cider. This is my soft doughy rock. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't invalidate my statement. <laughs> I like his pudge. Can we stop talking about my pudge? <laughs> um, all right, so I, I pitch our little tarp tent thing that I've uh, that you know probably figure out some means of fire for the night. Bring out the marshmallows. The, uh, the, the Kieran stops you before you can reach for like, the flint tinder. We should, we should not be it. We should not set a warning fire as, as such. We may be being watched. But why? But we have marshmallows. I didn't. Marshmallow. Would, marsh- you, would you like one? I think it's like bats. Marshmallows are dishonorable. Oh, no, they're not. They're made of delicious egg fluff. <laughs> wait, wait. That makes. That probably shouldn't have those as horses. Mar- some sort of natural product of things. They're from the marsh. <laughs> they're. They're, they're the mar- <laughs> yes, they're marshmallows. That's that would actually be something I would expect in this show. <laughs> just be, just be a, a some sort of tree that grows marshmallows. It's the marshmallow. I imagine it's like it's like they grow on like on cattails, like the end of them. <laughs> you don't even need you don't even need skewers. You just pop, you just like pop, pop them off. And Are you hearing that, Sibsy? <laughs> yeah. Free idea. Bam! Right there. Whole Done. Episode. Cut, print, beautiful. <laughs> Send it to print. Um, but yeah, so it, it, you, you have to kind of settle in for the night. It's really, it's pretty cold out in the forest, and since you, yeah, there's no fire, and the, you know, you, you have to just, you have to just kind of huddle up and hear the weird noises going on around you. But all of you settle in for uh, for a night for like a, kind of an uneasy sleep. Sh- uh, chef, it, pretty much the moment your head hits the ground, your uh, your Dreams are filled with like strange and creepy nightmares. Uh. You can, like, he's he's like rolling and twitching in his sleep. At some point, oh. um, you you get that dream sequence from the uh, Beavis and Butthead movie where they're pl- just playing roller coaster of love. <laughs> it's a uh, your uh, your dreams are they're definitely nightmares, but they're very nondescript. Like like lots of like flying around in some sort of black void and hearing strange voices tell like in, in other languages talking. But at some point, it, it, you know you, you know you're dreaming, but you, you look around and you're in like yeah you're surrounded by the what sound like the like angry cries and cheers of a crowd, and you realize you're standing in some sort of like arena. Um, you're looking around, it's, it, it, like you're, it's a, a pit in the ground and it's edged with big, it's edged with bones and big planks of wood. Uh. <laughs> All all around you, it's uh, outside the arena. is dark. You see like glowing red eyes and the sounds of uh, like the crowds uh, cheering and alternately shouting uh, curses at you. It's altogether very unpleasant and unfriendly. <laughs> Blasted, unfriendly, murderous crowd. <laughs> as you uh, as you kind of look around, you look over across the other side of the arena. It is a, it is a horrible a horrible beast as, as bad as any you've seen. It's a big, it's a big like a quadruped monstrosity with scaly skin and big, big claws and a big lizard-like head with glowing red eyes. Um, oh. Make a make a fear check real quick, which is spe- which is a spirit roll. And All I will, right. I will point out though that you have the adrenaline surge edge. Um, so it's the first time you roll a fear check in any game session, you get a bonus equal to half your vigor. And then, if you're successful on it, you get plus one to subsequent fear checks this session. Okay, so, so you're rolling spirit plus three. Okay, that's not bad. Cool. The uh, but the the creature has a fear penalty associated with it, which is minus one. So just roll spirit plus two. Uh, I got a one and a two. The two. Well, you have a plus two, 
So the two is enough. Okay. Yay. You just need a basic success. So yay! Thankfully, uh, you, the, the creature and the, the thing is, the, the creature is you know a good shoulder l- <clears throat> taller than you, and is, l- is large and horrible monster. But you feel like have a you you're, you get the fight or flight decision, and your your body instantly goes into the fight reflex. So you're like, Grr. Yeah. <laughs> The, uh, the 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 cre- like the the cheering the cheering and stuff kind of dies down, and the uh, the creature like uh, looks at you and smiles. And says, you were the, uh, you were the foolish one who would give up who would give your name so easily. <laughs> you, yeah, well, <laughs> I don't normally run into monsters like you. You wish it back, do you not? What? <laughs> you uh, you wish your name returned to you, do you not? Yes, that would be nice. <laughs> well, uh, well then, I offer you a challenge. You may, uh, if you may, uh, if you may defeat me, uh, if, 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 I will, I will, I will wrestle with you. For and uh, if you, uh, if you wish to challenge for me for your name, then so be it. He, like it, go, it goes into like a in, into like a pony like wrestling stance. Fight, mm. fight, fight, fight. Yeah, the crowd the crowd is like, cheering. They're probably saying fight, but in some sort of weird demon language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seems about right, yeah. Have you been watching, have you been listening to demon languages again, Sandy? Uh, Stop studying demon languages, I've told hey, you about look, that. look, you know, Twilight's got some pretty interesting books in that library of hers. Yeah, I don't know, I don't this, condone you know, this her one having... It looks like it has, like, the a face of a pony, like the skin of one stretched over the cover. It didn't have a name, but there's like these three names in it. It's like they'll has a sticky note, like do not say. Yeah, I don't agree with you reading the Necroponicon. So yeah. I think that book would be in like the castle's library of do nobody allowed in this part of the library. Yeah, it's in the restricted section. The black library. Anyways, the, uh, uh, the the oni begins to kind of like circle you, and it's got kind of wrestling stance going. Ne- the Necroponicon. Okay. All right, get ready for the next convention so called the Necroponicon. <laughs> if you are, if you uh, if you are if you are brave enough, you may challenge me. I'm certainly not afraid of you. My name's pretty important. I'm Sandy, the cook. <laughs> the, the kind of oh. Sandy, the cook. Oh, they called me a chef. They called me I, a chef, so I became one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> living the dream. He goes, very well then, come to me. And, he, like, and, lund- uh, and then like, lunges at you. So, uh, roll roll fighting. Roll fighting as you attempt to wrestle this Oni. Okay. Go, Sandy, go! Fight, Sandy, fight! Earth Pony strong! Uh, okay, I got a four in the D four, so I'll re-roll that. And a three, and I got a three in the D six of so seven. Okay. Wait, wait, uh what you did what were the two dice? I have a D four and a D six. Mm-hmm. I rolled a four and a three on the D four. Ah, okay. And a three on the D six. Okay, so you the the two of you charge together and the crowd uh, crowd roars. Uh and uh seven seven is your final total? Uh yes. Alright. So uh you you go into it and then you, you do you, you try to remember back from your school days like all right what was what did, what did coach say and in that moment in decision the 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 only manages to get the grapple uh, in first and it, it immediately get, like wraps its big like uh, claws around you and 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 begins to pin you to the ground. Uh, I uh, had the time of my life. <laughs> the the, the, the crowd is clearly cheering. Uh, uh, as as, as you're like, uh, you like, your name is mine. You are nothing. He, like, and he's and he's, he's, try, he's trying. He's slowly like bent, bending you back over onto the ground. <laughs> what do you what, what mm. do you what do you wish to do? Try to kick him in the ribs. <laughs> uh, stomp on a foot. Okay. Stomp him. It's like I will try to. You know, distract him enough so I can possibly go at him again. I mean, this is like a dream sequence, isn't it? Possibly. <laughs> sure. Try and imagine the uh, 
try and dream yourself doing other things <laughs> like destroying him. Okay, uh, actually, I'm, I'm curious. Roll, uh, I'm, uh, roll strength to see if you can you can slip uh, slip a hoof enough to to crack him over his like weird claws. Okay, I have a D10 on that. You're a strong boy. Strong. Uh, so I rolled a seven on the D10 and a four on the D6. Okay, seven, a seven then. Yes. So yeah, you uh, you actually you feel like he's he seems to be enjoying like kind of like. Bend, like bending you back over, but there's a moment you, you feel like saying you feel that moment where he's he's just kind of shifting his weight, and you lash out with a with a hoof and are able to like step on a claw for a second, and it just, like hisses momentarily as as you attempt to reaffer, reassert the grapple. So go ahead and roll fighting again. Uh, roll a pl- get a plus two to whatever you roll for for the little maneuver you pulled off. All right, it's, it's Sandy versus the Gron. So I got you said plus two. Yes. So I got three on the D four and four on the D six. Okay, so a six. No, a four total. Oh, four total. Yeah. So I, oh, with the, with the plus two. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Oh, you got a four and then plus two would make it six, right? No, I think he rolled a two. I rolled a two, oh. added two for four. Oh, okay. Do you want to spend a bunny for a higher one? Uh, do it, sure. Charlie. Yep. Go ahead. I, I'll re-roll. That's the bunny thing, right? Yeah. Just re-roll. Yeah. Just making re-roll sure. Re-roll the whole thing. Yep. <laughs> okay, this time I got this, a six on the D6 and a four on the D4. There, bam. <laughs> do it. Do it, Philly. And then I got... A further two on the D four. Do I roll both? Yeah, you you roll yeah, both. both of them. They both they can both explode. Okay, so I got a total of ten on the D six and a total of six on the D four. Okay, so that's, that's the higher is the ten. Yes. And then that did you and that's with the bonus or without? That's without the bonus. Okay, so, that so, you, would so your be... final total is a twelve. Okay. Okay. I'm going to spend one of my Game Master bennies. <laughs> my roll was really pitiful, because I am using my dice. You pretty much just dis- just disemboweled him with a... Oh, it's better, but not going to make it. I roll. I, I get a nine this time. So, um, yeah, so you, you, got, you, you timed the distraction just perfectly, and that you managed... You, you, you give him a reversal and throw him to the ground. The, uh... The crowd immediately like gets in an uproar. You can hear, you know, hear other other oni jumping up off of the bleachers angrily and shouting and such. As uh, yeah, as for a, for a fleeting moment, you've you've pinned the oni to the ground. And just as just that just as that happens, you suddenly awaken, and you're like you're you're like hoof to hoof with the Kirin uh, 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 Hida. See, it was like you were sleep wrestling. Uh. Stay in, stay yourself. I'm, I'm standing kinda, above, like holding a pail of water, just ready. Trying to pour the booze out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> he, like he's like sets you back down. It appears that you were sleepwalking. Oh, I, I thought I dreamed I was fighting this monster. <laughs> I, what and, and and what happened? I, was I uh, <laughs> it's like it was on the middle of the stage, and there's this massive crowd, and he was like, "Oh, you got to fight me!" And I mean, I'm a, I'm a tough pony. I mean, I had to stand up because he was like, "Hey, you want my name back?" I was like, "Well, yeah, I do." Step up so I uh, was wrestling him, and when I pinned him to the ground, I woke up. It's weird. It's me- this may be a good sign. The 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 only has attempted to test you, and you have best you have best it in its own uh, in its own way. You actually you, anything you actually do feel like not quite as bad as you remember when you went to sleep. That's good. Your will uh, your will is strong, Sandy son. Yeah, I could have told you that. <laughs> yeah, we may you may make it out of this uh, out of this or, ordeal alive after all. Oh, yeah. That would be ideal. Yeah, I mean, we've been through a bunch. I mean, yeah, Sandy, you ever hear about the time this dude stopped, like, bombs going off on an airship? It was crazy! 
Yeah, uh, let's not have to do that again. <laughs> yes, uh, so he, he, uh, <laughs> uh, he everyone, everyone kind of goes back to sleep or something. But you, you all wake and and pack up and head out at dawn <coughs> and to make up for some lost time. So uh, I'm gonna have you make one more, um, one more rolled track. So all right, let's see. Let me grab the. Yeah, I just so, need to hijack some both dice from you. Let me uh, yeah. get my own dice here. So as I said, you can roll roll nature again. If you wish, you can attempt to like uh, you, you can attempt to use the connection with the Oni and see if you can sense where he is. You can you can do you can try nature and then if that doesn't work, you can try the the, the other thing. So D four D six. I got a three and a one. So. So I got like, a total of ten minus two is eight, and then five. So yeah, eight. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it's just funny. You get like both of you are untrained and are just like <laughs> nailing this roll. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's just, were so, suddenly we just uh, we ended up having like the uh, the Philly scouts just tracking guide in our bag, just like ah, oh, just in case we needed it. <laughs> Who would have thought this would be so useful? Okay, you got it. You got it signed with a. You, you, you pilfered it from the Philly scouts when you were on the island. <laughs> like, well, I got to get something out of this. <coughs> I had, hey, honestly, aside, I really enjoyed the fan art this one drew. I have it favored on, on my DVR. Oh, I'll have like, to go find it. His uh, it, it was like someone drew drew chef, and he's got like he's got like the war paint, and he's got the the he's got like the headband made out of the rubber inner tube. Yeah, Charlie, don't serve. Oh, I gotta go find that now. It was good, but uh, anyway. So, uh, what, Chef? What did you total get, or what total did you get? Uh, I rolled a three on the d six and a one on the d four. I'm just kind of like lost. <laughs> you're still, you're still like thinking, like, yeah, I totally bristled that fucking Oni. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're the, sitting there li- listening to remixes of uh, of slam jam, so. <laughs> He's slamming and jamming and is thus unable to help with the with the tracking. AC, however, I just watched him roll on his floor and rolled very well. Rolled the target number again. Need so yeah, you just man- in case he didn't believe me. Yeah, you man- but no, so you managed to track the Oni. Uh, even even it's obvious that it's trying to be stealthy, but you can you still find the occasional like claw print on a root or a broken branch or something. So you follow your you know you you know you're getting deep into the Everfree Forest. Hopefully, in the other direction from the fairy castle. Ugh, ooh, yes. Let's not let's not fall down there again. It's probably it's probably pretty gross after freezing over the winter and beginning to thaw. Um but gross. No, but yeah, you you follow the Oni's uh, the Oni's trail and sure enough, uh you come you emerge from the forest once again and there's a short gorge this time with a rope bridge. But across from it is a ruined old castle. Ooh, ooh, I think I remember this. You probably at least know that it's, you probably haven't been here, but you no. know what it is. <laughs> this seems about right. <laughs> oh boy! Uh. The, uh, the, uh, at this point, you can see the uh, the Oni's footprints have like are like burned into the gra- into the grass on the ground. And you can see it cross it it it, it, it leaves a singed uh, path across the bridge. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's great. <laughs> it leaves a singed path across the bridge. And then uh, down down some stairs lead off to the right from the the, the path that goes up to the castle. Uh, 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 Here, kind of gazes. It, it, it appears uh, this appears to be the ca- this castle that you spoke of earlier. If the uh, if these if if your uh, if your elements are indeed here. Then we uh, then we have come to the fi- the final stage of this Oni's quest. We must defeat it before it can uh, before it can get hold of them. All right, that sounds good. Um, all right, so let me remember back with the, with the news article. Okay, um, let's see. Twilight Sparkle Alcorn Princess stops consult, vines from consult the full free press microfiche yeah <laughs> pull it up on my thing yes yeah, the, the, the tree of harmony did it look head ah under okay gotcha it's a, it's it looks like a cave under uh so yeah it should be like uh, oh hey look there's stairs ah that's 
Good. Oh, sweet. You can just take these. That's better than going across that creepy rope bridge over there. <laughs> well, yeah, he's like, hey, Red, don't tap. Yeah, it's attacking my fan. <laughs> Very dishonorable. <laughs> Terrible dishonor, cat. He's going to he's going to show so much dishonor on that if he gets his claws on it. Oh yeah. So the uh, so the the, the uh, Hida steps forward and you see like his uh, his levita- he activates a levitation spell and both both of his weapons kind of flash out of their scabbards. Um, he's got like he's got a shorter sword and then a long curved sword, which seems to be made uh, the, like instead of metal, it appears to be made out of some sort of like yellowish greenish substance the whole thing like the thing glow it makes this nice like th- this this nice humming noise as he levitates it out and it like and it glows kind of pale green in, in the in the low like lighting of the forest we must uh, we must be careful from here on out the, uh, the only may strike at any moment be on, uh, be on your guards at this point at, at this point chef the, the 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 kind of voice in the back of your head is become more or less co- like a constant drone. Uh. So as it as it, he he takes the lead and you descend the stairs kind of very carefully into the uh, into a, like a, a there's a big open cave mouth near at the bottom of the hill and and, and head, head head inside and both of you can feel like there's kind of an oppressive atmosphere here. It's very it becomes very dark and it's like the, suddenly everything becomes dark and strange and kind of scary. Okay, this... I think we're getting closer. I don't like this. This is spooky. The uh, the, the Kirin is in the lead, and he himself is kind of glowing faintly green and is, is levitating his glowing uh, green-looking sword out in front of him. Uh, as he as he as he heads in, <laughs> I I I find a branch that has been laying on the ground and use that and just put that in my mouth and <laughs> <laughs> on defense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh, as you the, 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 uh, dip deep in the cave, and it's 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 dripping with water on the on the cave walls, and you have to pass through a bunch of twists and turns. But at last, uh, you the three of you enter like kind of a large cavern. And sure enough, at the very at, at the other end of it, on top of like a kind of a mound of a rock, there's a large like crystalline tree growing into the ground. And you recognize what look like what you definitely recognize the symbols, the elements of harmony, kind of embedded in, it in various places. Ooh, hey, I like the big oh. purple one up there. That's nice. I, huh? This is uh, I really hope that the Karen's not trying to mess with. This. Yeah, I mean, we're here first. It looks like. I mean, it's. I it's, hope so. It's really well, spoopy, but oh, I didn't say that much. Like, sure. If you see the tree, and then at the base of it is uh, is this is, is the what you definitely recognize to be the Oni chef. Chef can feel, uh, can just like feel like that's the that's the guy. You he feels that you can you can feel this kind of weird like mental connection with it. And uh, as you as you as it kind of as it turns to face you, you see that the creature is like. Looks like some cross between what it looks like a cross between what you saw in your dream and Chef. It's got uh, it's got kind of like a portrait of Dorian Gray thing going here. Yeah, that's uh. Hey, it is against uh, the law to look like my friend. <laughs> I'm just. It's not actually, but that's not cool. <laughs> he uh, he turns and, and he looks like kind of looks like certain look. <laughs> You Oni, we have uh, we have come to put a stop uh, stop to your journey here at last. The uh, the uh, the Oni turns around and, uh, and smiles in this creepy grin, which he said looks kind of like Chef. <laughs> stop that! Yeah, <laughs> stop that! Yeah. <laughs> creepy. You think you have arrived? You think you arrived soon enough to stop me? You yeah. Know, uh, <laughs> this this pitiful creature's name is now mine. And. and the uh, he, he, the the two kind of square off for a little bit. He, uh, the, he, he uh, kind of levitates the sword out and he, he waves the two of you. Stay out of uh, stay out of this. You uh, you will you will you will only jeopardize your lives further. Oh, okay. <laughs> Five bucks says we get involved. <laughs> the, uh, the the only the only laughs and leaps down from the pedestal. Uh, its eyes kind of gl- uh, its eyes glowing blue and, and and you can see it has like big 
gnarled horns growing from its head. Yeah. And it, 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 it immediately launches into like an awesome like a, a, an awesome fight with the with the Kirin. As it does so, though, the Oni uh, g- uh, glows blue once more, and as it as it ducks to the left, it fissions into into four other copies of itself. Ew. Uh, he he just stops momentarily, and he's kind of levitating his sword out, trying to figure out which uh, which target to go after. Um, uh, and then imme- immediately, all five of them are on all of you. Da. So, let me get. Let me roll, or let me draw, oh, sorry, roll, draw initiative here real quick. So yes, you are drawn into it. So we're going to have to figure out which one of these is the real Kieran Sandy. Or, well, Oni Sandy. Real. <laughs> well, the real Oni Sandy, please stand up. And red, and red is here, and he's just, like, playing with anything that moves. I think I put all the dice back in that box. Dang it. Yeah. I know, I keep forgetting. I need to find more bag. Or my dice bag has went. It ran off on me. Though your though your dice have been surprisingly hot tonight, so for you. I know, really. Oh, well, actually they've been like okay for me, but but so for the people who haven't watched before, Savage Worlds uses playing cards for its initiative system. So I'm just gonna give these a quick shuffle. Um and we will go ahead. I hope I haven't stolen any of yours. I read. Are you kitty? Oh, you're such a kitty. Oh, yeah. Getting a scratch. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna draw here real quick. Oh, there we go. First time I've seen that in a while. Yeah. The, uh, let's see. So, uh, AC, you have the seven of clubs. Uh huh. Chef, you have the six of hearts. The, a? uh, Hida, the, the Kirin samurai, draws a joker. And the group of Oni are going on a jack of, of diamonds. So. Yeah. The joker being, uh, we need to, so everything is in the order of, Everything in the Joker being a true wild. Yes. So uh, the way that the Joker works is in this case the uh, Hida drew it, but it's uh, he can he can take his action any time, um, including to inter- uh, in this turn, including to interrupt another character's action, and he gets plus two to everything this turn. Yay! Yay! Our friend is strong. As if yeah, as if as if he wasn't already. If he wasn't already a, a crazy, powerful, mythical thing with swords, the um, I have a branch. And every t- and the one that rules every time you draw a joke, every time a Joker is drawn after that after that initiative is over, you reshuffle the deck. Mm. So it's all there's always going to be a uh, there's always almost always like a, a, a the same chance of drawing a Joker. Now, at least when we play, we don't end up doing a lot of the card stuff, but that must be because we just don't get in. We usually get into like one major combat every game. Yeah, I, I mean, I have to I have to format these games somewhat, such that like I don't I, I try to I try to make the combats like short and snappy. Yeah. So, um, I'm just gonna have Hito go first because he's very he's also going home samurai about this. So the 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 Kirin launches uh, it launches into action and it is it's it's like it's very like ooh and ah to watch because he moves with absolute fluid grace. It appears that whatever fighting style that these Kirin uh, use utilizes the fact that they can levitate their weapons on top of their extreme grace. So it's, it is like watching this like deadly three foot razor blade ballet. He uh, la- la- lashes out and like in a very very like violently cuts across one of the the. One of the, uh, one of the Oni no, uh, or the one of the Sandy no Oni. Uh, the, yeah. His blade, uh, yeah, his, the the blade pla- like like passes cleanly through one of them, uh, which which turned out to be an illusion. Though all of them seem to recoil at the sight of whatever this sword is he's carrying. Um, so he he charges forward and you know, takes it takes out one of the what turns out to be it looks like one of the illusions. Mm-hmm. So there's currently there's currently four. Uh, of these Oni in disguise moving about. Oni in disguise. 
They, however, go uh, next. Yes, two of them are going to uh, are going to leap on him. So they're one one is going to uh, or they're they're both going to attempt to. Uh, it looks like they're both lunging to see if they can grab him, pin uh, pin him down. So I'm going to roll for the roll for the Oni. And uh, they don't, that's uh, that's you. You'd want better. Yes, they would want better. They would want better for their children and their future. <laughs> and but they ain't getting it. But you know, it, it's it's remarkable. You got the same roll for you know all of them. So I uh, both of them roll a two. Uh, Hida Hida Sama rolls a nine. So the two <laughs> the two uh, the two Oni like lash out with their clawed uh, uh, clawed uh, hands and and forked tongues. And he expert, expertly dodges away from them and out, uh, out of their way. You more or less grapple each other, jeez. Yeah, they, he, he does the, like, step out of the way and they, like, bonk and hit heads. Uh, uh, however, two of them go after you two. No! All right. Or one for each of us. Yes. All right. right. So, all right. So, what do we do? I, uh, let's see. Huh. One is going, uh, let's see. One, uh, one, uh, one comes at, let's see, uh, let's do AC first. Okay. One of them comes at you. And is uh, and like unle- uh, is, it's creepy because it kind of looks like some sort of weird scaly sandy. And yeah. It like opens its mouth like way too wide. Yeah. And it's got like shark teeth. No. Um. I got a stick. And it comes. It, it comes snapping at you as you try to fend it off with a stick. So I'm going to roll this as a intimidate clash of wills attack. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is uh, let me just real quick bring up a sheet. No, I got it right there. Oh, good. <laughs> Big screen. Yeah, so I got that. Okay, so um, just to review quickly, uh, there's a system in this game for nonviolent combat resolution, and it's kind of like you use the same mechanics as combat, but you can you can portray it in different ways. It's not just you know using swords and clawing each other. Yeah, well, the classically we had a, a scenario where it was done by hugging the person into submission. Yes. By that, giving a tender hug and reaffirming that they are a good person. Good pony, yes. <laughs> despite being like a despite being like a notorious international assassin. Yeah. <laughs> it worked quite well. So it was, uh, it was sweet. It was weirdly sweet. It worked out yeah, I think it worked great. So but in this case the way that I'm doing this is it's uh, I'm 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 like a mechanically I'm using what's uh, intimidate <laughs> to do a cl- what they'll call a clash of wills attack. And in the way it's explained in the game is the thing is, like, unfurling its giant, like, toothy maw and kind of, like, lunging at him. And so he's just kind of, like, trying to psych AC out. But gross. it might be enough to shake him up. Gross, 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 gross. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling the creature's Intimidate, and it's, it's opposed against AC's strength. And on top of that, there are some little, like, situational... There are two plus one modifiers that can be handed out to either of us in a roll like this. Neither of us are, re- like, a, he, neither of us are really armed. It's no, not. A, it, I don't have a stick, but it yeah. does not. It does not regard your stick as a threat. Damn. So it doesn't really consider it a weapon. The other one is whoever has the higher strength attribute gets a plus one bonus. So it's uh, so it, it has a higher strength than AC. So I, I'm rolling my intimidate plus one. He's right. rolling strength. All right. Can you get Come your? On. Remember your D six too. All right. Well, I gotta. Yeah. I, I only have one D six. Oh, okay. So I'll reroll it. All right. All right. I hope the next one's better. Oh ho! Ah. Alright. That's a ten. I'm going to spend a second <laughs> second game master. I'm many. sorry that I'm making life so hard. No, 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 this is fine. This is, I, I'm, you're I rolled me... a one on the previous. Okay, so what, what was your total? Uh ten. Ten. Okay. I re rolled uh it's not worth spending a s like another GM Benny. I, I roll a seven. So he got a ten, I got a seven, so it means I my attack misses. Um, that's what I I, I, I kinda like these because they make it they make combat a little unpredictable. It also means it's there, there's some interesting tactics you could bend to how to use these. But if I had not if I had not gotten hot on that next roll, I had a one. So, yep. so he not dare, narrowly dodged it, but like it comes snapping at you, but you manage to kind of like yeah and fend <laughs> off the stick. So <laughs> gross, 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 gross. yeah, it's freaky, but not like uh, but not enough to to stop yeah. you at this moment. Um, let's see, Chef. On the other hand, the the weird Oni copy that's fighting you, which looks which looks like distri- uh, like distressingly like you. At this Sandy point. senpai, you can do it. <laughs> uh, this this one is going to opt for something similar, but I'm going to use grace instead. 
So it's go uh, so it's gonna kind of lunge at you, and it's got a big like forked tail, and it's going to it's uh. going to try to like weave like weave that and uncoil it through your legs to kind of trip you. So um, so it's it's gonna be opposed against his agility. So once again, once again, I got this. It does have a higher agility than you, so I also have a plus one. You both have the same pace, so there's no so that's a, that breaks even. So go ahead and just roll agility. Okay. I got a five and a four. Okay. So um. So yeah. So it, I I get a seven. So it, it hits, but it does it it goes, he gets a success. So it's not enough. It, it's not enough to totally set. Set Chef up back, but he's definitely has to be like on his toes and is a bit off balance. So he's he's called uh, since I only got a success, I just need to beat his beat his role. Uh, Chef is now what is called shaken. So when it, when your character is shaken, when it comes to their turn, all they can do is try to become unshaken. Uh, there's a role for it, and there's some other stuff you can uh, if you want. You can spend you can just spend one of your bennies if you want to just remove shaken and just act. So. Um, so that's so that's it. the two the so all four of the remaining oni are taken care of. Uh, the next is chef or not chef? Sorry, sorry. Uh, AC has the seven. Woohoo! All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I suppose I will go after creepy McToothface uh, <laughs> that is before me. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see. My usual good one is persuasion, but I'm not entirely sure how per- how persuasive I can be. Perhaps if there's if these things are a mixture, well, they're probably Oni itself. But if it is a mixture of Sandy, perhaps there is a little bit of him inside, and I can appeal to its to the inner Sandy and tell him, "No, you're better than this. Gosh darn it, people like you." All right. All right so uh, what? I, I, I will I will persuade and appeal to the inner Sandy. Okay. Um, and then yeah, Savage Worlds is kind of cool in that it gives the GM a lot of leeway, like. If your players do something cool or interesting, just go ahead and throw them a bone. It's fun. The game, the game is all about like making it like it's not. It's not like about a lot of number crunching and such. So, uh, so go ahead. All right. So um, I'm gonna go persuasion. I will give you. I will give you. Um, let's see. You have equal smarts, so that's equal, that's equal. It technically has a higher charisma than you, but I will oh, give. I will gosh. give. I will give you the advantage because I like how you phrase it. <laughs> I'm appealing to its inner. Yeah, to, to it its is. Inner it, Sandy. it may be an Oni, but it currently has uh, Chef's name. Yes. All right. So, I'm gonna do this. All right. That is an eight. Okay. All right. Uh, I get a five. So it means. Uh, it means that. Let's see. One second. Let me make a note. Go into it like you're a good person, and we're good friends. Or good pony, and we're we're good friends. So um, he rolls a eight, and I got a five in response. So he he beats he, he beat my number. Uh, he didn't beat it by four or more, which is what you needed for a raise. So, uh, but you still got to so the so the only that he's facing off with is shaken. It seems it like it you, you feel for a moment there is that inner chef in there. Yeah, that, it, it kind of blinks and stops what it was doing a moment ago. So obviously the one I'm facing is not the Oni. <laughs> Maybe. Murder. Okay, so uh, last in this initial order is Chef. So what you want to do is, um, the, normally the only thing you can do when you're shaken is to roll to become unshaken. So you're going to roll okay. sp- You're gonna roll spirit. Um, let's see, do you have any... Spirit is six. Yeah, so you, you roll spirit. If you roll a six, if you fail... <laughs> You're still shaken. If you succeed, you're no longer shaken, but that's the end of your turn. And okay. if you roll a raise, which is if you roll an eight or above, so the target number is four. If you get four more above that, so if you roll an eight or above, you not only get to and no longer shaken, but you then get to immediately act. And in in if you either in either way, you can spend a Benny to just immediately become unshaken and act. Yeah, you you pretty well, much do the kung fu, jump back up onto your feet and ha. Huh. Yeah, huh. So, I, I will roll and. I will face my fear. They Sony aren't going to get the best of me. Well, I rolled a six. Okay. All right. And then a five. All right. Eleven. Yay! Per- more. So you so you, you do the kung fu jump. He does. So you you roll. <laughs> so you are no longer shaken, and you may you may act. So you may take this turn as normal. 
Okay, well, I'm going to try to intimidate okay. the Oni. It's like, I've had enough of your nonsense. You're going to give me my name back. You're going to give me my soul back. And if you aren't careful, I think I'm going to just let that Kirin finish you off. <laughs> All right. Go, uh, go ahead. And I roll a two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and a five. Okay. So... <laughs> He's not impressed with my bravado. Uh, uh, does not look like it. I roll a fifteen. Oh <laughs> uh, well. I don't. I'm not entirely sure you would have been able to match that to begin with. That's that's pretty rough. So uh, no, it was. I just, I just rolled really well. Just yeah, he did. Up. A noble, a noble effort, though. Mainly, is you're no longer shaken. Well, shaken characters are especially vulnerable to getting hit. Um, Savage Worlds normally only just you know, has like a combat system for fighting with weapons and such. And a shaken character, if they get hit or anything, are get immediately wounded rather than going to shaken first. So it's like, so it's, there, there's a certain tactical way, tactical way to uh, do combat in this game. But we'll go to, we'll go to round two. All right, let's see. So, uh, AC, four. Boo. Chef, five. Boo. The, uh, the Kirin Hida, King of Hearts. And uh, the only move on a six again. Wow, some lobies here. So it's the, uh, so it's the same order. No, no. Uh, uh, AC, you're last. Uh, oh, okay. Chef is now second to last. Okay. okay. So, uh, so uh, the, 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 the Kirin Samurai Hida... Once again, launches into action. Um, he, no, he no longer has that plus two. So um, the two the, the two oni he's facing, wa- he wastes no time and uh, s- like uh, brings his, brings his strange like magical sword back down on one of them. Uh, let me roll something here. It's a secret GM stuff. Okay. So he uh, as he brings it down. Now we have to roll. Where am I? Nice. Okay, so he rolls that. You're all now dead. <laughs> so he brings. I roll. Uh, it, it, uh, the 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 Kida does a fighting attack with his magic sword. I roll a fifteen, and that it also is. It is a. It is a like a. It's a magic masterwork weapon. So it has a plus one. So his total is a 16. Yeah, so he... Okay, so he, he strikes the... Uh, he strikes the Oni, and so instead of vanishing, the, the weapon, like, leaves, like, a glowing green, like, a cut through the creature, <laughs> which, roar, which roars angrily at him. Um... It is, but it, it's it, it like a the wound doesn't look like it was deep, but it, it seems to be like screaming in pain from it. Whatever, whatever is the, whatever this weapon is, it seems to be especially effective against them. Okay, so that was so that was his turn. It like a you you guess that that one he's he he struck just now is the real one. Mm-hmm. But it make, doesn't make the, anyone's any less dangerous. But yes, ang. Uh, Angrily in response, the Oni move. So we'll, we'll start with the two in front of him. Uh, boo, okay. <laughs> 18 will do that. Jeez, whoa. So the 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 one that it lo- looks like you recognize as the, the true uh, Sandy no Oni rolls, un- uh, rolls, un- it rolls an 18, so he unshakes and begins to act. He strikes back, uh, you see him strike back against the Kirin. Quite angrily at this point. Let's see. Where the, uh, I'm fiddling with dice here. One moment. Oh, very nice. I uh, you see you see him strike back. The uh, the the Kirin manages to kind of like manages to use the the blade to kind of bat his. The, the Oni's big claw aside, just in the nick of time. Um, the other one takes a, takes a, takes a shot at him. Oh yeah. 
That's a lot of dice rolling over there. That's spooky. They're, yeah, they're, having, a, they're having a fight. So uh, he, it seems he, he fends off. He manages to fend off the the true Oni, but then immediately is hit from behind by the other one. Uh, no, Kieran he, Senpai. No. <laughs> AC playing uh, playing Kruger's anime hologram girlfriend. <laughs> from there. Oh no. <laughs> There's a picture. There's a picture somewhere of like there's a couple at like Comic Con who cosplayed as them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and kind of creepy. But so the, uh, the go away. I'm busy. <laughs> but yeah, this is the 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 two Oni like illusions that you recognize, which look which are no less real to you, uh, continue attacking. So this time, reverse it. I wonder if we push them together, if they just absorb into one. Should, uh, you see, for that remark, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Oni Sandy you're looking at, like, uh, uh, jumps and tries, uh, and tries, and kind of, like, lunges at you with its big, like, gnarled horns to try to get you to duck. So go ahead and roll oh, okay. agility. All so right. Another grace attack. Obviously, I offended it so much with my good, ag- uh, good ideas. All right. D4, D6. Three. Right, he rolls a five. Boo! So yes, you are you are sufficiently annoyed. Uh, you are sufficiently like a, a distracted by it that you are shaken. No. I swear, the last one is going to go go take another shot at Chef. So he's getting into. Oh no! What he's doing. Not the face. <laughs> this uh, this only, however, actually, you know, what? I'll, I'll, I'll in lieu of that, I will. No, I'll, 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 they'll, they'll keep using uh, in attack for now. So go ahead and roll uh, agility again. Okay. My rolling has been shockingly average now. <laughs> so it's increased. Over time, you'll get the god tier once we get to the end of this fight. I, I got four and a five. Oh, okay, I also roll a five, so it's a the, the ties do nothing. So it, you, you you two kind of like trade swipes at each other, uh, but nothing. But there's no actual result from it. So, uh, Chef, it's your turn. All right. So, I saw which one he tried to, uh, which one actually winced when he got hit. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to try to intimidate that guy, try to get up in his face and push him back towards the Kirin, so that, you know, I guess that he'd have an easier time of, it. Yeah, fair enough. Probably. Fo- focus attack on the raid boss. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. He knows the deal. I know which one of you is the real one. You can give my soul back any time. Focus. I don't deeps. think. <laughs> all deeps. All deeps. More he- dots. More he- dots. Heavy deeps. Come on. More. More deeps. Ah. I got a one on my D10, but a six on my D6. All right. Go. Make it hot. And a three, so nine total ah, on Intimidate. That is just enough. Um, I roll an eight. Whee! Woo! Eight, all right. So, uh, so you barely see it. Yeah, it, 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 the, the Oni appears to, like, look look at you and look slightly reticent to get into another wrestling match with you. But, no, you, you are successful in, in distracting it enough, so it is, uh, you just get basic success, so it's shaken. Uh, and now it goes to AC. All right. So well, you, just remember. So you, you've currently got you. The only uh, you're shaken. Mm-hmm. The only on you is, uh, is still there, but there's also the one you can tell what what uh, Chef was pointing at was the big one. The the actual one. Yeah. Yeah. So there's still let's see. There's still two, four of them left. There's still four of them. Or uh, I, I still got to get up though because I'm shaken. So. Yes. so go ahead and roll spirit. Uh, all right. Let's see. Spirit is uh, eight. Oh, I'm not bad at that. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Four on the eight and two on the six. Okay, so that's a basic success. So you'd be unshaken, but it'd be under the end of your turn. Uh, let me actually Benny on that. All right. So you you may act. All right. Um. I am going to use an. I'm going to use an unstoppable and attempt to uh, buck one of dim one of these shades towards the uh, the um, the big bad. Okay, so um, 
The one is yeah, so one thing. Unst- he has the ability called Unstoppable. It's an Earth Pony ability. Um, is that you can't. It, it, it specifically stipulates you can't use it to harm directly. Living creatures okay. Directly, but uh, but a good uh, uh, sending them sending them sprawling. I would. Uh, I will definitely accept that. Okay. I remember. I remember a certain precedent in the Nightmare Night, the first Nightmare Night episode, in which you did like a barrel roll inside of a giant ketchup bottle and rolled a bunch of them over. Right. So, uh, okay, so you, Unstoppable does not even require a roll. You're just going to no- yeah, knock him over closer, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, the, it goes th- it goes through. You you run up and, like, give him a, give him a nice body check, mm-hmm. and the weird, like, scaly Oni, Oni like, chef pony creature go, uh, goes, uh, goes, like, flying a couple feet in, across the cavern and bumps into the, into the big one. All right, there we go. So, go, so and you're and you're going to combine that with a uh, oh, an actual action. Well, or? no, that, that that it's a it's a free like a, okay, it's a free action. Okay. Well, okay. Right. The, the um, unstoppable is an action, but like, how did it, what did, what did you want to accomplish by knocking the guy forward? Um, I was actually hoping to use the bump into the main one to just either a be a distraction on the ba- on the big bad. Uh, to just throw it off guard or maybe off balance a little bit. It was just kind of like a knock one into two to maybe just uh, what what the um, shake it, shake yeah. the main one. Okay. Um, let me look at one thing here real quick. Sure. Making them look at the core rule book. Just, I just wanted to check on something. Um, go ahead and roll strength real quick. Oh I, boy! Uh, I just want good, good old DC. Uh, fill those muscles, AC. Whoa. I just want to. I just want to see how, how how you do here. Come on. Ah, uh, there we go. I could. Since you since you used unstoppable, I was just checking to make sure you didn't like flub it. Okay. So, um, so yeah, you not you knock him. I'm gonna I'm gonna with that. I'm gonna say this is a push action. You wanted to knock him. Uh, wanted to knock him. Uh, or sh- shake him, and it's like, I was just making sure you didn't roll a critical failure. I am unstoppable. He is definitely a nuclear train. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's the German unstoppable poster with Denzel Washington and Chris Pine. Wow. <laughs> I like that. One million ton. Tonnen. A uh, hundred thousand Leben. One hundred minuten. Nice. Unstoppable. Everything's better in German. <laughs> so, um, so I'll, give, I'll, I'll give you that one. So you... You send him sprawling, definitely out of your face for one. Yeah. So. Okay. So we'll go to the next round real quick. Don't worry, this won't. This shouldn't take too long. So AC five of diamonds. He has a bad initiative. I know. Wow. Chef is two of hearts. Uh, thankfully, let's see. Uh, seven. Man. Okay. So the only are going first. So the only has the somehow we draw ones. They're not even in the deck. But what is this card? <laughs> the, uh, so the only are acting on a jack of spades here. Then uh, Hida, the Kirin on a seven of spades, and then we have AC on a five of diamonds and poor Chef on the two of hearts. So okay. How did these negative cards get put in here? This is strange. Yeah. Okay. Them. He'll be good for them. Uh, let's see. So, uh, Chef, you're still tangling with this one copy. Yep. So it's going. To, uh, it, it, it backs off slightly, and you see it's like its eyes and mouth glow light blue. It appears to be it appears to be casting some sort of spell. Worth it? No. Uh, it looks like it's going to take a second longer for it to cast. I failed the casting roll for it. That's what you get for using magic. Yeah. The the big bad Oni easily easily gets a uh, oh no no so six ah oh, six and one okay so he's got a seven. He's uh, I'm going to save I'm going to save my game master Benny so he's shaken. He's no longer shaken, but doesn't act this turn. And the la- and the la- but uh, the last Oni will attack Kieran. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Uh, the Kieran is doing fine. <laughs> uh, 
uh, especially that is his turn. He's going to he's going to roll here. Uh, he uh, he he reaches down and uh, he lowers his head towards the the big oni and lets forth a bolt of green energy. So he's a changeling. Look out. It's more of like a yellowy green. Oh, okay. It's more like a jade green. So it's green. not like that lime green. It's... No. Not, not evil green. Okay. Oh, man. He has his... I'm going to use one of his bennies in this one, because this is ridiculous. You need okay. me to roll for him? Is that... He also... He also uh, doesn't uh, doesn't, be able, doesn't get the spell off in, during this turn. Eh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so, uh, AC, your turn. Okay. All right, so I am now separated from everything. I'm going to go and try and be streetwise leadership. So the ways that you that you can kind of do it is you can. My main thing is persuade, so I could try and persuade. Uh, tell you what, I'll try and do persuasion. I'll actually try and distract uh, Big Ani uh, from trying to cast that spell. Okay. So uh, and, uh, with, with with your persuasion? Yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna, so you're gonna, you're hey, gonna, hey, look over here. Na, 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 na. I would ask that would be something like you, you're, you're going to, you're going to talk to him about things that are useless and will, oh, uh, just, and just waste up, his time. Just, just up in his ear, so buy a timeshare. Hey, you should really look and go, go check out the next Adam Sandler movie. Hey, <laughs> this is reversal, reversal of fortune. <laughs> Um, just just start dropping just other spell words inside of his head. Magic missile. Uh, uh, ice bolt. Uh, <laughs> so go, okay, so Vanish and go back to your hell world. Uh, <laughs> so go ahead and roll um, persuasion. All right. Let's see. D10 and D6. Four and a six. So I guess six. Both dice explode. Oh, God. Uh, eleven and an eight. <laughs> All so, right, that ain't happening. Yeah, so you you fail to catch the the uh, the evil Oni's ear. All right, so uh, chef, your turn. Okay. Um. Let's see, what else can I do? <laughs> so is he trying to attack AC at this point? No, AC is actually AC's like like a, a, a buck the other Oni out of the way. He's now off. He, he looks like he's doing okay. He's he's, he's just on his own. I'm just trying okay. to the both the uh our Kieran friend and the Oni look like they're both charging up their uh their magic attacks, so it'd be best to not have our friend be blasted by whatever the hell that thing's doing. <laughs> but are you are you yeah. still fighting the one that is on you? Is he still yeah. Yes, he's uh, still tangling with one of them. I'm gonna try to taunt him this time because my D ten has seemed rather treacherous. Okay. So like even with the ability to split into four, you can't handle two two silly ponies and a Kieran. Come so, on, you're so pathetic. Get jersey on. It's a, hey, you're trying to toot this, and with two ponies on you, you can't do nothing, huh? Step like, it up, chump. <laughs> See, I sound like JFK from Clone High. <laughs> Come on. Well, I rolled a, a six. So I'm at six. I want two, so the uh, body data. I rolled a second six on my dice that exploded, so that's twelve. And four, so sixteen. I would be afraid to... of someone with that accent too. <laughs> who, what was your, who was the target again? The Kieran that uh, I was dealing with, the, 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 the only, shadow only clone. With. The yeah, the the shadow clone that I was trying to deal with. Ah, okay. So right. you can't handle this. You can't handle two silly ponies and a and a Kieran. You're like this demon. You're pathetic. And what was your what was your total? Sixteen. Ah, okay, that's a problem for him. <laughs> so he rolls an uh, he rolls an eight. So you get a success plus two raises exactly. So it's more than enough to take out the uh, more than enough to take out a mook. So um, so uh, uh, yeah, as as you speak, like the it appears that like it, he like the the shadow kind of clone. Turns to look you angrily, but it appears that the the Oni like loses concentration long enough that that the clone just vanishes. So he's out of, out of your hair. So you've 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 taken out one of them. Yay! Yeah, go team! All right, uh, let's turn initiative real quick. AC finally gets a break. Queen of Clubs. Woohoo! Chef, Queen of Spades. Woohoo! 
He the Sun, Kieran Samurai, Ten of Diamonds. Woohoo! Oh. And the, the Oni draw the. <laughs> Boo! King of Diamonds. Damn it! Okay. All so. high cards, but the Oni went first. The Oni just got an even higher one. Ugh. Uh, Gross. So, so yeah, he's going to he's going to try to cast his spell again. There we go. I'll be right back. Yep. He uh, uh the the uh, the Oni is in, the, the main Oni let his eyes and mouth glow white uh, glow light blue and he it shoots a bolt of energy out that slams straight into Hida and let's see roll for the effect. He rolls. He gets a success. All the... Nine. So he, uh, he shoots a bolt of energy. The, uh, the, the Kyrian catches it in the side. Uh, it seems to, seems to weather the worst of it. Uh, but it's like a, it's a big bolt of like glowing blue energy. Appears to cause him great, uh, you know, great comfort or great discomfort and pain, but he manages to he ma- manages to shrug off the worst of it. So he's just shaken at the moment from that lightning bolt. And okay. That was a star. Hmm? Star meowing at the cat. I think so. I don't want to die. Oh, that was I think it was their door creaking. Ah, that was me. It's just AC making making a squeaking noises. So, Chef, the the one Oni that you were taking care of, uh, that you were tangling with, tur- uh, uh, turns back on you, and he's going, he's going to pounce once again. I thought I got rid of that one. No, I thought you got rid of the one that was on the Kyrian, or the, or the like the second like. I thought he, I, I thought he specifically went after the one that was still attacking himself. Oh, okay. Let me just fix that then. Actually, while the uh, okay, then while the Kyrian is down, uh, or, or he's momentarily distracted by trying to like absorb a lightning bolt, the Oni is going to simply make use of claws against him. Uh, let's see, rolls a six to hit. Oh, not enough. So the the the, the Kyrian manages to like uh, again kind of parry its claws with his with his strange jade weapon. Uh, AC, there's, like, let's see, I knocked that one there. I just, I've got, like, a, I've got, like, a little document here, I'm keeping track of everything. Okay. Um, at this point, at this point, they are, they're all moving against the, the fallen, the fallen Kyrian. Okay. Um, I've got a plan, is there any rules in Savage World for a combined attack with me and Sandy? Um... Not necessarily. Because what I was thinking is we could try and use the rope that we had and bundle up the entire, uh, the entire, like, the Kirin and the clones, since they're all kind of collected in one mass. Um, I mean, what you can, what you could do is, um, as kind of just, like, lasso them all, or something, or... Yeah, I'm so what, what you could do is, um, let's see, from what you're trying to do with that... Because well, it's kind of like he takes one in, I take the other, and we try and wrap them up. Let's see. I'm always willing to bend the rules slightly, too. It's always kind of fun. Um, if that sounds good, Sandy. Yeah, sure. Okay. So you guys are acting one after another. Let me, <clears throat> let me do one thing. I'm making them dig hard into this rule book this time. I, I'm just like, I'll, I'll make all because it's like cause that's definitely something that's in keeping with the show and everything else. Uh, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to move around. So, um, sh- uh, chef, I'm going to have you go first. Roll, um, let's see, roll, taunt or intimidate. You probably want to do intimidate. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have you make a let's call it test of will, which is a mechanic from the game. Uh, that's it's more for the basic savage worlds thing, but I'll have you roll this uh, test of will, and I'm going to apply the plus two bonus to Chef's roll then, or to, to AC's roll. So go ahead okay. and roll intimidate. I will roll my intimidate. 
I got a nine and a three. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you got a success. Can I roll an eight on both counts? Uh, so you get the test of will. So now, uh, so you you've got you've got them distracted. Go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll your fighting. Okay, so it's a six, mm-hmm. and you and you get a plus two to this. All right, come on, second dice. Come on, Benny. Okay, <laughs> and now you add a further plus two. Oh, come on! I get two of these, right? Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay, That's so a little five better. plus four is a nine. Yay! Okay. With that, and then let me check against their. And that's, that's at short range. Yeah, that's enough. Woo! So um, I'll get like, as I said, I'm up. I'm I'm gonna fudge things a little bit in the name of keeping this speedy and interesting. Um, you manage like I'm gonna. So you got a successful test of uh, uh, chef got a t- successful test of will to draw their attention. That gave a plus Sweetie. to AC's roll. Are you playing anything? Because someone's saying there's music on the stream. That's weird. I, I don't hear anything. So. I don't hear anything either. This guy's I'm going crazy. Um, check, check your. T- are you in Chrome? Check your tabs and see if there's a little, something else playing somewhere else. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, as I said, you you and then applied that bonus. Um, I as uh, for for good fun, I'm gonna have it apply to all of them. It, it was, you got a successful attack. Um, and with that, with that bonus, uh, I'm going to make. I'm going to rule it so that they they're all shaken as they get coiled up in a big rope. That's weird. Uh, they're they're hearing something that hmm. isn't, but it's definitely music. I guess nothing's playing on my end. Are you sure it's not inside your head? Somebody somebody plays a stream real fast. I'm curious what the heck it would be. Like, if I play it, it'll just be this horrible... Not just music, but the music is way louder than people are talking. Is it is it an ad on the stream or something? I don't know. Like, it should be... Someone else... Now multiple people are having this... That's bizarre, because, yeah, we're not getting anything on our end with the recording. It must be something on Starry's machine. Here, close out the browser completely. Okay, you guys, once we do that, is there anything? Or maybe this is just the Justin TV, you need to stop streaming music. Like, you have gone too long. <laughs> You've had enough. <laughs> it's, the, it's the play you out music. Yeah, there's nothing else on the stream going on. I don't got any music going. Not nothing going on here at my place. Oh, oh. Spotify started playing. Wow, even, oh. even laying in a burn on her musical her musical Spotify choices. No, this is where we all get to judge Starry and her judge. And her Spotify playlist. Yeah, said it. Yeah, I it. <laughs> what were you playing? I forgot it. Niggas in Paris. I don't. Spotify is dumb like that. Where yeah, I, I I've stopped <laughs> using it because it's just it's a pain in the butt. I don't know why people do Spotify or Pandora. Like my iPod plays whatever music I want when I want it. Like I can I can handle Spotify. Like I can handle Pandora. But yeah, Spotify was a little bit too on the nose. Anyway, welcome back, guys. <laughs> I guess we're hearing all that. Um, we're still fighting. Uh, we, we unfortunately, you missed the fun part where we wrapped up the Onis, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't, they might have caught, they might have caught that part. Yeah, but we, we wrapped up the, uh, we, we, d- me and, uh, Sandy did a tandem attack for wrapping them up with the rope. Yeah. <coughs> which, which does, which does buy the Kiwi in a bit of time. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so they're, yeah, they're currently treated as shaken because you temporarily wrapped them up. Wee. Okay. Earth ponies and rope. What does it mean? 
he will go. Okay. Wow. Main strike. Okay. The... Oh man. Okay. Well, we'll have to go with that summary for a bit. If so, just cut that out of uh, like that, or leave the music on the recording. Well, the the recording won't get it. It's only on her machine. Oh right. So right. it's only on the stream that they would hear that. Okay. Well, in summary, to just so like, you guys can hear it on the recording, you can totally hear all the stuff you just missed. Yeah, in the in the in the intervening turn while we were dealing with the technical difficulty, uh, the 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 Oni and its two like replicas were uh, were kind of ganging up on the on on Hida the Kirin, and in, in the, the, the both AC and Chef, I uh, did some interesting footwork and uh, ro- rounded the three of the three of them up in our big set of, in their rope. So. So we're I start the next turn real real quick. So AC, listen. I love the fact that Rex called it musical rap. <laughs> Posted the non-musical rap. I guess that would be like poetic rap or something. <laughs> well, I mean. It- the hip hop has changed in a great a great deal since you know the eighties and nineties. Yes, it's so. I mean, the hip hop you know, grandmasters. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see here. So sh- here we go. I've got two pairs. Okay, so AC, you have the uh, you have the six of hearts. Chef has the six of spades. Uh, the the Kirin has the four of clubs and the Oni are moving on the four of diamonds. Wee! So, Chef, you are first. So now you now they're you've got them where you want them. Basically, they're uh, they're in a wrap. They are it at our peril. So what do you okay? Doing? Okay. I, I have used all my bennies, so it is upon you, sir. I can't. I I, I am nothing but a screw up at this point. It's your turn, Sandy. Okay, so I'm gonna try to intimidate the. Because okay, so we're down to basically just what those actual Kieran. There's the Kieran uh, who's or no, the Oni. There, there's the there is the, the actual God. one and and two and two illusionary copies. No, don't take oh. out the Kieran. We. Well, she'd probably, I, I she'd thought probably, we'd have actually taken care of the uh, one of the, at least more of them when he's been out. All right, yeah, well, well, you have taken care of th- like between you and the Kiri, I've taken out three of them so far. Yeah, and we, we've done a good rap job on the uh, on the other ones. Yeah, so the, they're they're all shaken <laughs> and Cabbage Worlds on a shaken. They are much easier to do damage to. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to intimidate the uh, one of the shaken ones to run away because it's like let's get. <laughs> Give me back my give me back my name. Give me back my name. Give me back my soul. I want my soul back. I don't want to get eaten. On a wrap up, on a wrap up. Uh so I got a six on the D ten and a two on the D six. Six uh a six on the D ten? Yeah. Okay, I got a three, which is not enough. So um the one one of them uh one of like the, the, the small ones it listens. Uh, it, it listens, and then it looks. It like motions, like it's gonna run away, and then like explodes into a bunch of like little bits of ash. So you just for, further destroyed the copy of it. So, uh, AC, your turn. All right. So let's see. I've got this. Um, I am going to attempt to cider the main Oni. Okay. I have that bottle of superproof. I'm going to give him a dose of my own medicine. All right. So, uh, what do you, what's what's this going to be? It's going to be a roll for him drinking some of my booze. All right. Uh, I guess that's a fighting. Okay. It's gonna it's gonna be a, a wind up and throw into his mouth because yeah. we know how well my throwing ability has been in this game. You can. Uh, that's actually true. You did. Um, <laughs> I seem to recall me trying to knock a particular scroll out of a demon's hands about a dozen times. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Resorted to, like, oh, yeah, I like the idea that it's like, yeah, I, like, I kept missing, so I had to keep destroying Flash Sentry stuff. <laughs> I had to. It was the only way to save them. <laughs> oh, man. 
something imagining like a quest for girls is like uh, is like a Christmas vacation, and they keep destroying their neighbor's house. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, you can you can do non lethal damage with fighting. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll roll that because you are you are trying to do that. So go ahead and roll fighting. The um, I in in my games I house roll. There's technically like by the rules a minus one penalty for using non lethal damage. I usually ignore it because I encourage people to use non lethal damage. Right, and that's why I'm incapacitating with heavy spirits. Indeed, to take out a spirit. Yeah, spirit on spirit action. All right, so that is. Fighting, which is a d6, plus my d6, mm -hmm. five, and a two, so five. Okay. Uh, to hit, let's see, to hit the copies of them, let's see. Uh, currently, it's currently missing. Hmm, I don't have a Benny. Hmm. Okay, if that's going to currently miss... Yeah, I think you're. Up. I think you miss. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna do anything. You're, you're trying Ooh, to. Like, that was my good stuff too. Oh, you don't necessarily. You don't necessarily waste it quite yeah. yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, it just it, it hits, but the cap doesn't open. So the two of them that remain. There's one one main only and one um, and one little uh, unimportant dude. Rex was the to alcohol tolerance of an Oni. If this touches him, it ain't gonna matter. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's tell if I send the Celestia to knock it off her stocks, though. So okay, so the, uh, both only managed to like break out of the rope. Uh, the the little like the the copy. What you can tell is the copy takes a second longer than normal to break out, and so he's no longer shaken, but he didn't get to act. The main one, however, uh oh, breaks all of your spines and leaves you to rot. No. Oh, believe me, this 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 is a powered down oni from how they're statted out in the book. Oh boy! But okay, let's see. He, uh, he's in, he, uh, the uh, the Kirin is still shaken, so he's going to. He's good. Uh, you see him. His uh, he seems to be still weakened from it, and the Oni will use some of his terrible Oni magic. That's four. Okay, basic success. <clears throat> And then he un unleashes another bolt of baleful energy. Wow. That is not, that is not doing well for me. Eight. It is enough to hit him, though. Oh, wait, no. Man, okay, so he, shrug he shrugs off another lightning bolt from the evil Oni's uh, uh, attack. I've been... Ro yeah, this is bad rolling. It's a very it's a very calm adventure. <laughs> Not say like calm. This is like lightning bolts and swords. Oh and yeah, stuff, I mean, like for them, it's terrible. For us, it's kind of like, oh yeah, I'll knock this in, and we'll use the rope to wrap him up a little bit. You know, it's, well, I mean, we, we've we've akin to have a tank that is handling the actual demon. So it's just kind of like deeps, more deeps. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, he's no longer shaken. So the the Kiri manages to finally get up. He, the only lord uh, you're facing is looking like he's not... He's had just about enough of this. So just, yeah, this isn't even his final form. AC, you have the king of, spa uh, the king of spades. Woohoo! Chef has the ten of clubs. The Kirin has quick, so he redraws and takes the higher of the two. He has nine, and the only act on a three of clubs. So, AC, you are first. Woohoo! All right, uh, let's see. So, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see what else I can do. So, how many on How many of the little guys are there still? Just one. Okay. And how? What's the status of the big guy? Uh, he is not shaken, and he's slightly wounded. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and try and shake him again to make it better on my friend. Okay. Um, let's see. I'll probably... Hmm, I'm trying to think of a good way to do persuasion on him. Um, let's see, notice where your eyes are fighting. I could try and do the, the, the cider on him again. That kind of seems fun, but... Um, Eh, why not? Yeah, I'll do the cider again. So I'll I'll, I'll go scoop up the uh, the little flask that I tried to 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 wallop on him before, and uh, see if I can get it down his gullet. Okay. All right. So fighting six. All right. So it's an 
eight on one of them. Mm-hmm. And a six. There you go. And, oh, that one's stuck. Four, so that makes that a ten. Ten. Okay, that, oh, that actually works. So, <laughs> yeah, the... The main, the man, main Sandy no Oni, you managed to hit uh, with a raise, actually. Oh, wait, no, you, well, you got a 10, so it's just, mm-hmm. just short of a raise. So you, uh, you, you hit him and temporarily forced some of your, some of your, your horrible uh, Mortal Realm cider into its mouth. <laughs> this will knock Celestia on her stocks. Let's see what this thing does on it. <laughs> uh, it, it retches and spits it back in your face. Mopin is really distracted, so it's shaken. Uh, Chef, your turn. All Same. right. Well, Go for it. so the time has come to take out this one last uh, Oni, right? Tr- prove well, yourself to be the true the, Sandy. There's the, main, there's the main one, and there's one like Mook left. Oh. Go, Senpai, go! <laughs> then I will try to take out the Mook, because at this point, you know, I figure, hey... Why take out the Mook? Take out the big dude. I can try to take out the big dude, all right. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, we take out the big dude, then the uh, we don't have to worry about the mook. He'll probably just vanish. He has higher defenses, uh-huh. but he is shaken at the moment. So yeah. He's probably a better it's like target. any of those other, like, demons that control other demons. You just take out the big dude, and the little dudes vanish. Mm-hmm. This is where I jump at him and go, Give me back my name! Ah! <laughs> What's my name? What's my name? Say my name, say my name. <laughs> I got a nine. Nine. On the D10 and a 1 on the D6. This is Intimidate? Yes. Right. This is the... Uh, oh, and you're... This st- is taking too long! And you're... St- that's right, you got the D10 strength, so this is even. Oh, so what, what did you roll again? Nine. Okay, so I... Yeah, I got an eight. <laughs> so it's successful. Always the bride, never the bridesmaid. So, um... No, it's uh, you. You get into another wrestling match with the Oni, at least temporarily. Um, the Intimidate is successful since he's already shaken. He suffers a daunt, and so it seems he seems to be slightly getting slightly worried about the course of events here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't like this. This is hmm. This is this is this is this is some fun. Um, with with that with that distraction though. Uh, Hida the Kirin uh, see, sees his opportunity and char- and does a charge attack at, a, at the Oni with his Jade Katana. Uh, and we'll use his last his last uh, Benny. He is a what? The card. Ten. Fourteen. Go, Kirin Senpai, go! <laughs> <laughs> So it's, it's, I can watch your skin crawl just every time I do that. I just keep imagining like Kruger and his like hologram <laughs> anime girlfriend. It's like I both I, I both love and despise that. Uh, anyway, so he he hits with a raise, which is nice, and he gets a plus two uh, bonus to it because he has it, he did get a charging attack. So he goes he goes like galloping across the cave, letting out a scream, and like brings this jade katana down straight down on the Oni's head. Uh, so he hits. His strength is a D10, it's a D8. It would be great if it does just like that, uh, that, uh, the, the Zelda thing where the sword's just stuck in his head and he just keeps talking for a while. It's for 14, 14, uh, damage. On top of the fact that it is a jade weapon, if it, it, they do not appear to like that. It's, he's, he's not a fan of it, is Oh, okay, yeah. That does... That does toughness plus... Yeah, it hit for two wounds. Okay, so... You went... So, wow, that combat went really well for you. <laughs> We're just going like... <clears throat> well, yeah, no, this thing is like... this. I actually I actually brought the... I mean, like, I knew the... I knew the Kyrian's tough, but the... Those Oni are actually really... Are actually really tough, but they just rolled really poorly this game. Mm-hmm. So, um... We just... I uh, just kind of like, uh, one of them pushed me down. He bring uh, see he brings the jade katana down and it like it it it, it, it like it doesn't like cut through the oni to look like it's not so it's not it's not like horrible and gory but it just like passes through it and leaves like a green line through him. Uh, the creature the creature screams like, and uh, and then begins billowing black smoke out of its like glowing green like wound like 
you know, magical wound that it suffers. No, I'm not sleeping for a week. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like this weird, like, chef monster. Uh, the, 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 the last copy, like, instantly vanishes, and you see the, the, the creature slowly, like, melts away into a pile of ash and just kind of blows off into the wind. <laughs> the, uh, the, like, uh, as I said, the, the Kyrian just kind of, like, charges through him as he, as he vanishes, and then stops and does, like, a Yojimbo, like, wipes the blade off and, like, resheathes it. And it's like, like, you're kind of panting and turn around, and it's the cave, the cave is finally empty, and all that's left, all that's left of them are some, like, bits of ash. So, uh, Chef, uh, as you, as you kind of, like, blink and look around, you feel instantly better. Like it's, oh, you have to get you have to like whatever whatever like strange like malaise that was afflicting you has since has, has, seems to just vanish instantly, and the like, the the color instantly begins to return to his to his cheeks. How you doing there, buddy? Oh, I feel a lot better. Ah, oh, sweet, awesome, whoo! Mm. Uh. Now, what? Well, uh... Now, um. That was sure a thing. Now, the real question at this point, I see, is how do we get home? Well, I mean, first off, I mean, we're, we're sure we're here, you know, and and maybe maybe we can figure out a way. But first, you know, uh, go. We should probably thank our friend over there that pretty much just dispatched a giant evil demon thing that held onto your soul for a while. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> um. So yeah, thank you. Uh. Well, I'm glad there's not a mess. That and would be self-cleaning, uh, Ani. Fresh scent of pine. <laughs> yeah. You see, as you as you kind of look up to him, he's sitting up there and staring up at the, the the tree of harmony, and looks kind of looks like smugly satisfied as he turns back to you. Like, your, th- uh, your words of thanks are appreciated, but not ne- but not necessary. I was simply performing my duty. Oh, certainly, you know, but no reason not to be friendly and nice about it. You did help us out, so. You know, we did our job, you did our job. No reason not to be cordial, huh? Indeed. I must uh, I must commend you two for uh, for my gene you have shown a tremendous uh, have shown uncommon valor and uh, and dare I say even honor. Oh. Like, stop, you're going to make me blush. Very well. Uh-huh. Then. Like and it begins marching out of the cave. Oh, hey, hey, hold on one second. Got something for you. Pull out the uh, bottle of the apple sake. One free bottle, just for you, on the house. Le- le- levitates it into, like, his little pack. I shall, uh, I shall hope that my... Uh, I, must re- I must return back to my shores, but I shall hope that on my return I will be. I, I will meet others such as you on this journey. Hey, I hope you do too, bud. He gives... Uh, he gives... Uh, he gives... Uh, he gives Chef, like, a short bow. Uh, to, to, uh, to have bested a creature such as that, even in, even in the land of a dream, is a truly impressive feat. I... Return and say thank you. He gives, he, oh. he like a like suits, like like a like levitates the like a cloak back out of it, uh, tosses it over over his back, and and kind of saunters out of the cave. And uh, and that's it for now. Yay! We didn't die again. You guys, now you're now you're stuck to wander back home through the forest. So oh, let's just hang around in the spooky castle for a while. Maybe the princess will find us. Go like, what are you two idiots doing here? Yeah, she's like, oh we, no, squatters. She's like, uh, we fought a demon. You wouldn't have known. You never return my calls. Yeah, not like you care. <laughs> You're a princess. Not like we ever become princesses. Ugh. Oh god, that'd be the worst if you had. <laughs> if uh, at BabsCon there was a plot where all of a sudden we all turned into princesses. Yeah, Larson like- would be there. <laughs> He'd be, he'd be there in the background, like, slowly clapping. Yes! Yes! Yes, well done. Well done. Temporary princesses for everyone. Uh, God and Dusty, temporary princess of mustache. But, yeah. <laughs> princess of mustache. Yeah. That's good. I'm usually, I'm usually not, well, I'm usually not good at, like, big dramatic exits, so. That's fine. I prefer, I prefer abrupt endings anyway. But, yeah, so, I, I, I try to, and I try to keep this game shorter than some of the other ones I've run. Well, we yeah, can, we can definitely have some fun at Babs. So I asked them to to leave the uh, the opening behind us for as long for pretty much nothing after us if possible. Great. So, but uh, yeah, so like I'll just as a post game thing, uh, you guys like 
totally aced the rolls, which I totally thought would confound you. I could have sworn one of you had nature, but I was like, oh man, these are both untrained. <laughs> but you got a success. You got a success on both of them. Yeah. Uh, even that it had they had like a target number of sixes each mm-hmm. time, so which is, you know normally very difficult with a neg- with a negative two. So yeah, that was cool. The the combat went like totally in your favor. I'm sad. I was Crazy. happy. I was happy to see Chef one the, got to wrestle. Uh, got to dream wrestle the Oni, and that was that was the uh, that was the mysterious hidden third objective. Mm-hmm. As if or, he could or if, secondary objective. If he could, if he could handle that. Yeah, and that's the like this. And this was uh, this this game was very like very very loosely inspired by let's say Legend of the Five Rings, mm. which has which is how Samurai and Oni. And there's a there is a there's an official like campaign put up by the company that you can play, and you have like an official character, and you can go to conventions, and you kind of keep your character sheet. And one there's one scenario in which you can wrestle an Oni in a dream, but it's like always a bad idea. Mm-hmm. So Chef, you get it. I am a winner! Yay! Yeah. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, everyone had fun here. <sighs> All right. The the ultimate question: XP number. Oh, you know. So as I said, you guys got definitely like got all of this one. Uh, got the main objective definitely, and I said Chef got the myst- the mystery second objective, which so. was to not only not only did he get his name back and his soul back, but he totally just he totally beat the Oni in his own game. In the wrestling match, so three points. Isn't it is indeed. Whee! So you are at nineteen now. All right. Well, if I see, I, it doesn't look like unless I didn't see. I got an Elon Edge charismatic. I don't know if I increased anything else. I may be. I think I may not have actually taken my uh, fifteen advance. Uh, it, oh yeah, it doesn't look like it. Unless I didn't. Put, I think I was stated I was going to wait. Uh, yeah, that's right. So it's, it looks like both you and Chef have an advance if you want to spend it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you're saying you can do this whenever. You could do it next time we play or something. Yeah. Yeah, because actually, AC, we have a another show to be on oh, uh, for any time in uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> Whee! Oh, man, you got another show after this? Yes. The ride never ends. We, so what was the title of this uh, episode? Oh, uh, this was called Very Honorable. Very Honorable. Very Honorable. Mm. Oh, yeah. I was, I, yeah. <laughs> there's a video, like, a, there's a video of someone... Have you, have you seen that game, uh, War Thunder? Mm-mm. Oh. It's a good video of that, which is where I kind of... Oh, partially where I got the idea, but it's a... It's like a compilation of this, of dramatic music, and this guy, like, doing that... Doing the, like, pseudo-Japanese voice. And it's him, like, com- like like... Trying to ram other planes in his in his ME one sixty three, which in that game is like this like super high tier, really expensive <laughs> plane, and it's him like it's like him trying to ram like biplanes and like any aircraft guns, and every time they show the shot, he like fly into it, and it's his like this voice just goes very honorable, <laughs> and I f- yeah, I find it I find it rather amusing. So um, yeah, <laughs> looks looks like that's all taken care of. All right, well, good deal. Thanks for everyone for listening on. Uh, thanks all of our people in the chat for for joining us during the tabletop session. As always, thanks to Roger for hosting a, uh, a crazy game of M- of uh, Savage Worlds of MLP. Yeah, uh, no problem. And uh, and apologies to the audience. Like, I never quite. I I, I know the camera is like right there, but it's not really aimed at me. So I'm I was usually just staring over this direction. No, no, it's no problem. I just I, it's just it always annoys me because I can see myself on screen. Says I feel like Th- I, then like, turn it off. Oh. No. <laughs> It's, it's, the, it's the easier way to do it. All and right. Off the camera would be dishonorable. <laughs> I, mu- I must watch myself at all points. Yes. All right. Well, thank you all for that. Uh, let me go ahead and hit this button over here and in the recording. Th- uh, recording? What the heck? Uh, and we will catch you all for another one of these games, uh, most likely next one at BabsCon. Or we'll see. We might do something sooner. But yeah, BabsCon I think seems I, right. I, I discussed. Uh, it was, I, was, I was really unfortunate that Pixcuddies couldn't make it, but uh, her, she, yeah, she's, she definitely got some, like, Big, some big money, like real estate stuff, to take care of. I think they're like moving or something. Yeah. So it's it's unfortunate, but uh, I we can we can look at trying to play, maybe play a game in the meanwhile. Otherwise, uh, two, I might two months for BabsCon is probably going to be right about good. So yeah, that's probably good. That means I can I can plan for an extra insane game, especially if I, especially if I have like an audience and Dusty Cat. Mm-hmm. It'll be it'll be yeah, it'll be crazy. 
Bring, bring, all bring an A game. So, oh, sweet. All right, let's go ahead and do this. We'll catch you all next time we do one of these. Uh, Till then, sleep well, everypony. Yep. Adios. Stay, stay honorable, everyone.